myself in bed. Charges on the beat. recommendations. 
I have since on April 4th forwarded the recommendations to the president. And on Wednesday afternoon, the committee led by myself will be the president for the president's final position on the recommendations made, and those will be shared. Please do that. I cannot share the recommendations with you um, out of respect for the president, number one, but also out of respect for those who will take their information back after the decision is finalized by the president. Thank you very much, and we look forward to continue to serve the people of Liberia to the needs of all members. So that was the voice of the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Professor Yanti, who will provide obvious relative to the working side. The fact, and then on other issues, the Deputy Minister Daniel Sando will briefly talk on those issues that are concerned to us. But for now, we talk about institutions managing information. And so we will not share names of people unless people themselves want to share their names. Secondly, being to that is the, the issue of whether or not somebody feels what we're doing is right or wrong. At the end of the day, the regulation on the task force, the regulation stands, the regulation is there, and that's what we're implementing. In terms of fake birth certificates, I have to track that. Tomorrow, I will be chairing an interministerial meeting on national identification. That meeting will include the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Transport, it will include the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Foreign Affairs, of course, security as well. And that meeting is about to discuss exactly this point. How do we make sure as a country that we have a national system that is strengthened to ensure that all of our documents are secure? You would not want anyone to be claiming to be like you and so forth. And we we'll take it lightly tomorrow when we are stronger, we are better, and we are more prosperous. We will not be able to exclude those people who are falsely claiming to be Liberians. Liberia is for Liberians. We need partners to come in and help us develop Liberia. But fundamentally, Liberia is for Liberians. And so we will be. Let me just compliment compliments for all of the questions. Somebody was concerned that the former government official said the process was built up. We were going to vote. Decisions are taken. We lead to reversal. You know the minister writes? 61% compliant them. Doesn't it tell you that besides maybe the one or two persons who are making noise, that the others are complaining, that it's the right thing to do? Why do you give that man? You know the man you're asking for go look for him. Why do you go look for him? My minister take you up. Thank you very much. This is my consent read by our media friends. That being said, we just like to conclude by speaking on the following issues. So this vehicle could not use the remainder of the code to provide documentation to prove ownership. And so therefore the court was left no alternative, but did not give a hard launch, a green light to the asset property to say you cannot proceed. In keeping with law, I thought to make that point because some of our friends on the other side were insisting that the asset recovery will waste wanting people. What are you? If you are claiming ownership of vehicles, there has to be documentation. Like in the case of Mr. Pipesu, when he went to the GSA, provided documentation to show that he purchased the vehicle. Two thousand five hundred dollars a dollar. The vehicle returned to him. In the case of the people from Gracious Ride, they post a kind of show their documentation. The five days period really elapsed, they couldn't prove ownership. So we we'll talked to her like that because very soon the asset recovery team will be back here to provide us updates on their operations. Also, yesterday. 
I'm witnessing something very important. You know, we all as Liberians are very hopeful that our country can reach a point where the investment partners come here to increase the size of their investment envelope, to provide jobs for our young people. And so we can be able to have the policy power. Right? So yesterday, the President of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency, Ambassador Joseph Mambuaka, received an audience at the Executive Mansion, the CEO of Metal. Now, this Asla Metal, you know, is the second largest tea maker in the world, and Liberia is proud to have such an investment here. We know very well that government cannot employ all our citizens. So it's good that we continue to build the profile of our country for investors to come here. And so the meeting, it is important to be stated that the meeting was the first between the president since the inauguration. And I, the two were engaged in high level discussions. Uh, those discussion was centered around, of course, the president's arrest agenda. I uh, talk about rules, agricultural rules, rule of law, education, sanitation, and tourism. And also, it encompasses the agenda for sustainable development in Liberia. And so, you already know that Asla Mita has an initial part there. You know, why are you referring to all the sound of the I personally, I personally spoke with the Senator of the Pardon me? In the entire I'll bring it here, let me sound. The entire Senate was Bring it, let me sound. Okay, bring it here. 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 to make sure that you find, you, you run to a bank, you, you, you go, you make deal with uh, somebody say, bring in these cars for me, I will work and pay. Less personalized or politicizing. It doesn't become a partisan issue, but you go run after paying a few taxes. Okay, so you, 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 you withheld an income for a day. Huh? Who pays? This is a Liberian citizen, who pays? If you're going after private property or suspicion, First, you must have reasonable suspicion. You must have probable cause. You should go get a search warrant and a search warrant to say the places to be searched and the things to be seized. That is the law. That is the law. It's not to go set a roadblock to collect some of the taxes that they're making a living from. When you are in government, you better be on an obligation to make sure that you find, you, you run to a bank, you, you, you go, you make deal with uh, somebody say, bring in these cars for me, I will work and pay. Because you're not going to be in government all the time. You're not going to be in government all the time. So you have an obligation. So somebody goes and make deal with, with somebody to bring cars for them and they do work and pay on it. Then you go and say, because the person was in government, the government asset. Based on like people calling the, the, the rumors, you know the amount of rumors that go around left and right about people? That is not the whole asset recovery process has derailed. I think the president should go back and reconstitute it, reconstitute the executive order, make it more expensive because it's an important anti corruption tool. If someone stole uh, from the government 20 years ago, they're not free because five years have passed. So you're telling me you can still just wait when five years pass, you're free. That's not, it can't be the concept of uh, uh, asset recovery. What I'm happy of is 
president has asked for $1.5 million for this process, we come in before during the expenditure side of the budget, we come in before the, 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 the committee of ways means and the joint committee of ways means and finance and committee hearing. And they will have the opportunity to explain if there's something I'm missing. We will have the opportunity to explain and justify why they should be giving $1.5 million to go after the real administration. And Mr. Speaker, this is a whole team work. Of course, the two versions of government working towards this uh, asset recovery team and have accountability in development. The fact that you discover or point out, or point out some of these two tools that you're talking about, uh, is that plan that you work with the executive in terms of giving pieces of advice from a legal point of view as we are outlining so that we do not have this mistake that we have in the initial state? Oh, I always, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the one in my present capacity to be talking a lot, right? Um, most of my conversations and most of my actions will be behind the scenes uh, in trying to make sure government works. There will be time like this in which I will make vocal my, my opinions on these matters. But having said that, we, we, we have to get the wheels of government going. We have to make sure we do things in the right place, in the right way. We oftentimes do our best to consult the executive on actions that have been taken. Um, at, at times where we think uh, it's important for us to voice out our opinions, we will do so. But most of the time, we work in a typical government fashion, consultation and coordination with the executive. Speaker, do you believe that the asset recovery gets it through the way of uh, the very successful? What's your opinion on that? I would say it's getting in the way of the LACC's work. The LACC is more uh, current and ongoing uh, to be involved in the fight against corruption. I think asset recovery is a defined tax where people uh, go out there and identify sources of government assets and tend to recover them. One of the things I would advise those involved in asset recovery is start from the GAC reports. Start from the GAC reports that's a good and defined source of, of government accountability. If you use these reports, you'll be able to follow the asset recovery trail very easily. We've had history of this same asset recovery committee uh, in some parts. And what we say this say that we did not achieve the committee before. Do you believe that we can achieve it if we achieve it with them this time around? No. The, the asset recovery in the past failed, and the asset recovery of now will fail because it's the same thing. You know, you 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 you're not putting it in a more professional manner uh, you're not putting a professional body together uh, a semi-political body trying to conduct a very professional exercise in terms of identifying and recovering ill cutting assets i think we should we should we should we should adjust the modus operandi i think the president should go back reconstitute his mandate in terms and maybe reconstitute some of the players get a a, a professional uh, 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 a company or firm to assist in, in, in making this recovery with our international scope and experience. And I think you will be able to, to find that in that process, you recover more in that asset recovery process than you will in, in, in the process in times past and in the media past. And this is an area, I, I'd like to go back to the quote that you mentioned. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Justice Michimo Kabak, I mean, declined to sign the prohibition. Sure. Uh, that is the In legal terms, what does it mean for the asset recovery team? It means, um, I'm not a former player. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know which legal term to put it in, but it means they, 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 got, they got slam dunked, if you will. Um, that's what the justice in chamber said. Where you, have, you ran, you got somebody's private property, you expropriated for a day or two, then the court come and tell you, and, and then not even the court. You yourself come and say, oops, we made a mistake. Really? So that's what happened. The asset recovery has been real. I think we need to go back to the drawing board as a government and make sure it works because that's what our people expect us. Uh, yeah, I know my colleagues talk about the world economic crisis. If I give it my back to you, know, I just want to cross this with you on this issue. Some of the law. This capital you know, passed a law and it is being debated currently in the public that mm -hmm. MSK law is prepared to be able to have this what economic grounds for preparation to a full extent. They may not and they may not have that on them because they passed that law in, in Tampa. Does it have any bearing if at all we achieve this 
uh, resolution and subsequently the bill with those people who are saying that we passed the law and we did this foreign war crime will not have to affect them also because this is the victory of the African country. That's a silly argument. It's, a, it's, a, it's an argument that no real legal scholar that went to any real law school will, 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 will even advance. The fact that there is a law that was passed that granted amnesty is on its face unconstitutional. You know why? The group or person or branch with the power to grant amnesty or pardon is the executive branch of government. That, I mean, it's the president. I'm sorry, not the executive branch, but the president of Liberia. And it was not granted to the president by some statute. It was granted to the president by the constitution. He is the only one that can grant pardon. So until Joseph Boyka, president, pardons these people, no statute can, can pardon them or grant them amnesty. They remain subject to the laws of Liberia until the president steps up to the plate to say, in the interest of Liberia, I'm granting these people pardon. Any other law to the contrary not extend. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'll turn the mark over to you. Okay, um, we'll step up to Obed Jiba, who will deal with the issue, a uh, quiz you about the conduct of your colleague, Honorable Yaka Koloban. Obed. And just before going to that, I'm also uh, interested in seek your opinion on any NGO in the back only the process of the World Economic Transport as alleged by Senator Ken Johnson. There has been no NGO that have formed in this legislature any activity here uh, for any matter whatsoever, let alone what it happened on this uh, We have, uh, as anyone who has expressed interest in the work we're doing because we are a public body, we have welcomed and we have discussed with them. We met officially with Ambassador Shark, who is an official of the US government, not an, uh, 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 an NGO. We also met with uh, Mr. Adam White, who is a prosecutor uh, uh, in, 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 in this arena uh, before and we discussed uh, modalities and structures on the surface. We have not been funded by any organization, nor have we been influenced or forced by any organization. Now, signing of the resolution means establishment of the court? No, the, the, the signing of the resolution means the the, the acceptance of the roadmap to lead to the establishment of the court. There still has to be a statute, an actual statute that would say we are establishing a court. Here is its uh, 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 mandate, its powers, and its jurisdiction. Honorable Speaker, I'm concerned about uh, what was revealed to the Nigerian people through this written law before we follow back. You talked about money from the uh, Ministry of State. $4,500 was in coupon to certain lawmakers uh, to get furniture from GMR Business Center for your removal. What is your official response to that that was heard in the public that took over the Nigerian media? Okay, so I will tell you what I believe and what I know. Um, we know from the, the audio from GMR that the individual identified that it was a secretary. Uh, the, one of the proprietors. Um, the representative alleged that these coupons came from the Ministry of State. Uh, the Ministry of State has denied that. Uh, I do not believe any of this had to do with my removal. I do find it troubling that more than one lawmaker has indicated that he or she received these coupons from the Ministry of State. I but let me finish. I've advised the executive manager. It's something that needs to be investigated. Okay? Uh, I, I don't have a complaint on the floor from any of my colleagues. I, I'm not really wanting to entertain it because they have mixed it in with speaker removal. I don't want to think I'm fighting anybody over my removal. Any day, any group of lawmakers here have for the one signature, I will go over there, pack my office, and tell all of you, thank you. Right? So that is not, that should not be the issue. It has not come to the to the house as an issue i don't think it should be but i think the executive branch is on an obligation to do some internal investigation as to whether or not indeed these vouchers came from them so far they have denied it i have no reason not to believe their denial but i'm telling you more than one lawmaker have shown me these vouchers and they have trouble 
at the level of the legislature after the allocation of five thousand dollars for uh, furniture of each one because of it and you have heard the report they authenticated by private business that there are additional funds to be Yes, I, a special one from the CEO Stan Connor with the spoon. And your boy, right in the South and Ben. Charges on the beat. Okay, so tune to Spoon to get your information, to know exactly what's happening in Liberia, uh, to get critical analysis of the training national issues. I'd like to say welcome. Thanks for being here again tonight. Uh, we're here live across the Spoon Network, Spoon 107.5 FM, Fabric 101.1, and Super 95.5 FM. Thanks to our partner radio stations across Liberia that are always relaying this program. We say thanks to every single person for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Kindly share the program as you come on. The Late Night Show is back on your radio. Sincere apologies that um, we are a bit late, but um, thanks again for being here tonight. We appreciate our ardent followers who always make up time to be here with us on the late night show. My name is Nelson Collet, and of course, um, we're here again tonight. Lots of things happening in the country. Um, we will certainly go ahead and, and, and talk about those different issues in the country. Um, uh, we uh, will... Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and 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 uh, we'll go ahead and of course uh, make sure that we get to talk about those issues. Uh, I see uh, a lot of you in the comment session right now. Jerry, Jerry Nima Nimpa Palakin, Governor, thanks for being here tonight, brother. We appreciate you, Evelyn. Um, Evelyn Matthew says she's falling from her comfort zone. Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Thanks to everyone for joining us tonight. Um, and I see uh, Moses Colley, Washington, uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, I see Eric McGill. Thanks for being here, sir. We appreciate you. Hip Kokasi, uh, you're joining us tonight from Maryland, the USA. Uh, Ma Mary Finna Yuma, she said, no. Oh, I don't know how you But uh, thanks for joining us. She said, greetings. I'm greeting you in Pele. Dale. <laughs> Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. And um, thanks to every single person. Serena, uh, say, boom, I'm here. Indeed, you're here. Kindly share the program. Let's have a great show tonight. It's going to be very interesting. Um, lots of things happening in Liberia, uh, as most of you are aware. Um, the asset recovery team is going about with her functions. Um and in the midst of everything that has been happening, the Speaker of the 55th Legislature spoke out today for the first time. For the first time, he spoke out on this issue of the asset recovery team. Well, and, and, and it was an elaborate, you know, um, media engagement he had today with uh, folks from different media institutions and um, an interview early this morning here in Liberia. So the first thing is that the, the Speaker of the 55th Legislature, Councilor Fonati Kofa, has described President Joseph Boakai's Asset Recovery Tax Force as a big failure that lacks accountability. Well, most of you are aware that the Asset Recovery Team was set up by an executive order for the president, executive order number 126, 126 um, set the pace for the uh, establishment of the asset recovery team uh, to recover government's stolen assets, to retrieve those assets and make sure that the country as a whole get to benefit from uh, that which is intended for, uh, you know, the government. And... Um, Following that, the team was set up and everything. But just few me a few weeks, or maybe just a little over a month after the operation of the asset recovery team, the speaker said the president's asset recovery team, the tax force, is a big failure that lacks accountability, and um, 
He criticized the operation of the Asset Recovery Tax Force uh, that was constituted by the president. And he predicted, the speaker is predicting that the tax force will fail miserably considering, uh, considering the way it is carrying out its duties and responsibilities that has been assigned to that team. Um, he justified that the team is a group of what he called semi-political actors. And according to him, those quote-unquote semi-political actors, the people in the asset recovery team, those quote-unquote semi-political actors lack independence and in their judgment, and, and in fact, their judgments are bent on hunting past officials of 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 government for political sentiment based on the past tense on issues during the last regime so this is the speaker speaking this is the speaker of the 55th legislature speaker for nati kofa he says majority of the people on the asset recovery team are semi political uh, semi politicians he's predicting that this team is going to fail because it lacks accountability. And, and, and not just that, but the speaker is saying here that majority of the people on the asset recovery team are bent on going after past officials of government based on their stance on issues during the last regime. So you want to go back to some of those on the team. Take, for example, Councillor Martin, the head of the asset recovery team. Speaker Fonati Kofa is saying that, look, these people that are heading the asset recovery team, they are not professionals. They are people who are only bent on getting public sentiment and going after people that they've already had issues with. So in a nutshell, what the speaker did today is that he discredited the entire asset recovery team, the entire process that has been rolled out by this asset recovery team that was established by an executive order from the president, Speaker Fonati Kofa today discredited the entire team. And he said it's a big failure. In fact, the people lack accountability. They are not accountable at all. And they are not people who should be trusted to carry on any meaningful activity in the country. Because they are bent on witch hunting people, going after uh, folks in the previous administration based on their stance on national issues. And he went on to say that the refusal of the tax force to use the existing audit reports from the General Auditing Commission demonstrates a hidden agenda to hunt past officials in their functions. They're not using the audit reports from the GSC, according to him. And, and, and then maybe the, the, the speaker, you know, has more information to this. How is it? Uh, you know, how did he get to establish that those people are not using the audit reports from the GSC? But he said the fact are uh, based on his information, they're not using the reports. And because they're not using the report, they are bent on witch hunting people they have a hidden agenda and according to him that hidden agenda the way those people in the asset recovery team has proceeded over the time has derailed the operation of the tax force so he's requesting president Brakai, the president of the republic of liberia to dissolve that entire asset recovery team set up a new team that will that were professionally, and that team, according to him, should comprise of professionals. I'm going to bring the team, uh, uh, the, the folks on now. He said that team should comprise of professionals, people who know exactly what they are doing, people who are patriotic Liberians, people who are not semi-politicians, people who will be strictly professional in all of their undertakings. And according to him, that is the only way the objective of the asset recovery team 
will be achieved. Let me bring the team on. Um, I see Francis is already here. Francis, uh, welcome to the team. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's good to have you on. And um, I see Vasco on as well. Vasco, thanks for being here tonight as well. It's good to have you on. Thank you so much. Good now, to be here. How are you guys doing? Yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's good. And um, I'm, I'm glad that we're here. So, uh, Francis, yep. I mean, we are here, and 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 time is already fast spent. But I, I want mm -hmm. us to go straight into it. Uh, this issue at hand. Maybe you want to do an opening or whatever. But no, we can. I mean, yeah, I got I, 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 opening I, I, to do. We can get yeah, straight to work. Yeah, I, I I want us to get straight into this thing because this is serious. So many Liberians have been looking up to this asset recovery team. As that body, that tax force, that group of Liberians that have been carefully, cleverly selected by the president, they've looked up to that team as a group, a body that will bring relief and retrieve the stolen assets of this country. And over the past time, there has been criticism. People have criticized the, the asset recovery team. A past officials of government, especially the immediate uh, past administration, those people have criticized. Some of them have said they would never submit themselves to this process. But for the first time, Francis, for the first time, the other time it came up, it was just a rumor when when people said, "Oh, the legislature said they will, they will, they will, they will not approve that budget for." For the asset recovery team, and they want 1.5 million. They want, you know, but it has gotten to a point now where it is glaring. The first among equals at the House of Representatives, the third most powerful man in the country, the Speaker of the 55th Legislature, have come out to say what's on his mind, and he's saying that this team would be a failure. Is comprised of semi politician. The team lacks accountability, and he wants the president to uh, dissolve the entire asset recovery team because it is bent, uh, bent on witch hunting people, and uh, they are only going after past officials of government that they already had issues with, uh, based on the stains that those individuals have had. Now, let's take on the conversation from here. There are other aspects of that conversation we're going to delve into, but 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 let's hear your take on this issue, Francis. Okay, first of all, you know, um, you met, you said something about the speaker, but let me just address this. First, we should all know that the speaker is not neutral. He's a partisan, he's a sedition, he's an opposition. Yes. So he, he's not discrediting nothing. It's mere politics. <laughs> if a unity party, if you the party was a, uh, a partisan was a speaker when uh, President Weir uh, stopped put his team together, even though he didn't do anything, mm -hmm. we're going to criticize it the same way. So I'm not surprised. I mean, is, is it is it true that yes, uh, President Barker could have selected more people that appear to be more neutral? Because mm -hmm. you see, uh, um, um, this guy that be on. What's the guy that be on Facebook all the time? Uh, Martin Colley. Martin Colley. You know, these are uh, uh, well-known people, well-known critics of the uh, of the past government. Yeah. But that doesn't mean the team is not capable of doing its job. But, but, but again, again, let, let me interrupt you there a bit, Francis. Francis, you just said it. You just said it. Maybe you hit one aspect of that, this, this whole point that the speaker was driving at, right? He's saying that the people on the team are seeming politicians. They are not professionals, and they are witch hunting past officials of government. Now, you just stated Martin Colley, for example. No, but, 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 nothing. but, but, but we know nothing. Martin Colley is not the only person. Even the head of the team, uh, Councillor Martin, Edward Clark Martin, you know the back and forth yes. that he had with the previous administration. Yes. but so nothing. Do, do you agree Clark with the speaker on this, on, on this aspect? No, no. I don't agree with what he's saying. He's a politician. He's mm. playing politics. He, he, just because he's the speaker of the house doesn't make him neutral. That's what I wanted to understand. He's a sedition that was elected to be speaker. Just like everywhere in the world, people mm. vote on party line. You, you, your, the party or the caucus with the most vote always yeah. get the speakership. So yes, he is going to say what he wants to say. It's politics. It's politics. He is, he's not in favor of the asset recovery team. I can tell you, 
if President Barker had uh, selected Jesus Christ, uh, Moses, Abraham, all the biblical people, and put them on the asset recovery team, Fonati Kofa will have said the same exact thing. So, so for instance, are you saying that he's he's this. taking this stance based on the fact that he is not a unity party uh, kind of speaker? Exactly, exactly. Then he criticized uh, jo uh, President Weir, uh, 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 as a recovery team that he put together. That, that's but he wasn't that's a speaker. Not, not he, he wasn't, wasn't a speaker. A speaker. He, I know, I know he wasn't a speaker. But <laughs> as a lawmaker, did he criticize it? No. But now he has the, the gavel and he has more light on him. So he's using his authority, his, his, his pulpit, to speak up. And I'm not going to fault him for that. He's in a position to do it. But he's a politician. He's not neutral to say, oh, you know what? It's a neutral person that's saying this thing here, or, or it's a United Party uh, speaker that criticizes the United Party. No, it's a sedition that criticizing uh, the asset recovery team because he doesn't want it to exist. I'm just saying here, what I'm saying is maybe they could have gone for people who are not too vocal, okay, uh, uh, vocal critic of the of the past uh, uh, government, but still that doesn't make the team. To, to 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 turn into waste Let's take for example the the most recent issue that we've been discussing here with this gracious right uh, thing, no, right? No, no, for, for instance, no, 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 I, I no, wanted no, to no, reserve no, that no, because so we're about to come. Why we're we about to come to the gracious right aspect no, no, of the no, conversation. No, no, no. I'm, not, I'm not trying because... to discuss the gracious right thing. I just trying to give an mm. example. As mm. people, he said, they are not professional. <laughs> they are waste hunting. Yeah. Mm. But let's take a look at this. Gracious right. Uh, uh, initially, the asset recovery team. Uh, 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 in that cars, what did they do? They went to the Supreme Court. What did the mm. Supreme Court say? Give that car back. Let's have a conference. Discuss. Okay, Supreme Court uh, looked into it and said, "Give the car back." Then Supreme Court uh, went back again after after the recovery team uh, made a, a, a stronger case, and, and, and Supreme Court asked for that they didn't provide. Supreme Court said, "Okay, go, uh, now the team can go ahead with what they are doing within the law." So what I'm trying to say here is. It doesn't matter what the asset recovery team does, right? If they come and say, uh, uh, Fonati Kofa stole 10 uh, billion dollars, the, 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 the trust administration is not just going to grab Fonati Kofa and lock him up. They are going to investigate. They'll go to court and they'll investigate. If he's found guilty, yes, he will be penalized. If he's not guilty, that's it. So I don't know no, what they're trying no, to make no, it no. seem like. What's wrong is, I come. I grab you. Okay, we can say which one was like what President Doe did in the mm. in the 80s. He grabbed us people, took put on the fire squad, they killed him, and accused them of stuff because they were they were not his 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 parties, his partisan. That's which one. But if somebody okay. can accuse you of something and you can go to court and the court can exonerate you, how is that which one? Now we 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 we're gonna come to the gracious right aspect because at a point the speaker the speaker went went a little far. To say a whole lot that so many people have never heard about the gracious Ras situation. I don't know how many people capture that aspect of the, the, the speakers are uh, coming today, but we're going to get to that aspect. But let me come to you, Vasco. Um, you listen to the speaker. He said the people on that asset recovery team they are they are semi politician. That team that that team is 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 going to be a failure because the people lack accountability. In fact. He's calling on President Boakai to dissolve the entire asset recovery team and bring on people who are professional. Where do you stand with that statement, Vasco? Do you think that the, the speaker was coming from a place of, 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 of love for country and wanting to see the president's asset uh, quest to have an asset recovery team, a vibrant asset recovery team uh, set up? Or was he coming from a, a, a political you know, a, 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 a point when he said that. Thank you, Nelson. Um, let me say hi to my brother, Francis. Uh, I mean, Nelson, you said, look, when this this issue started, mm -hmm. we all came here and we spoke about it. And we said that we were very clear that the manner and form in which this entire team was set up, mm -hmm. it, will, it, will do, it will be okay to have those kind of people on it. And today, what kind of people? Those partisan people that we saw in the streets, people that we saw on the social media, people that mm. we saw attacking government officials, mm. already had that mindset or that mind made up that most of the people that work in the CDC government they are all criminals. 
So if you put people like that on an asset recovery team that have that mindset, mm -hmm. that all of those people are serving in government, they are criminal, what do you expect? And that is the reason why you see the manner in form in which the asset recovery team started their operation. Liberia is a country of law. Don't, don't forget, the, 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 the speaker is a counselor. He knows the law. But, but, but don't, don't you think, uh, uh, Vasco, let me ask you this question. Don't you think the speaker, being a very influential person in this government, being the third most powerful person in the country, yeah. Vasco, don't you think the comment from the speaker undermines the very objective? It undermines everything that the asset recovery team is, is, is supposed to achieve here under the Barker administration. Nelson, you see, is it, and that is the problem we have in our country because if mm -hmm. somebody is trying to put another person on the right track, other people take it up in a different way and be thinking that it is politics. Okay, the speaker is coming up publicly to tell the president, mm. look, if you mean well for this identical asset recovery team, if you want this team to be successful, mm. let us do it this way. Let us do it this way. And fair enough, all of those, majority of those people on the asset recovery team shouldn't be there, Nelson. Shouldn't be there. Wow. They shouldn't you be know there. This is not about politics. No, 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 no. Vasco, Vasco, I just heard you say, I just heard you say that the uh, Unity Party, mm -hmm. the Unity Party went and selected certain group of people who were already partisan and decided to give them job through the asset recovery team. Vasco, yeah. you just said that. You stand by that statement, right? Um, yeah, I said the people have a it's, mindset. It's, is that in any way different from uh, the justification that we now hearing for the forty thousand civil servants? Especially when the CSA say they're going back to from uh, um, twenty nineteen of the president. Is, is that, that which you're saying? Is, is that in any way different from the justification we've heard for uh, 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 regarding this whole CSA thing that has been going on? Let's you know the issue of the CSA. Like I said the last time, mm. the CSA boss don't know what he's doing, so that is exactly. quite different from this issue of the asset recovery thing. Vasco, finally, and then we move to uh, yeah, uh, Francis will come to you. We'll give you uh, your your time to 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 weigh in. There's an, there's another aspect of, of of this whole thing that we're gonna come to. Uh, Amy, I want to say welcome to the show. Welcome, Rudolph, as well. But uh, Vasco. Don't you think that the speaker being a sedition, mm -hmm. being someone who supports or who supported the CDC, whichever way you put it, mm -hmm. with such a statement coming from him, it will be interpreted as just another, uh, another statement coming from an opposition politician? No, Nelson. You know, you know why? Because what the speaker is saying and what happened at the early beginning of this asset recovery operation, what do you think that these people did was right? Everything these people did from the beginning was wrong. And that is the reason why they admitted to the court. And now hmm. they're telling the court that they're about to come back and do it the right way. Thank you. See, there is the country get law. You don't just see anybody property, you just see it. You don't. Thank you. And that's what we've been saying here. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks yeah. a lot. Uh, Let me um, take 10 seconds quickly before I even forget. Vasco is a working contradiction. How you say the country is the country of law, but then you say Fonadi Kofa say, why you just put partisan over there? Then you say they went to the Supreme Court. They didn't do it the right way. The Supreme Court penalized it and they admitted that they didn't, they didn't do it right. That's why we say you guys should try to listen before you be making comment. That's good to your speaker uh, for the Dikova. The asset recovery team will identify or will accuse people. The asset recovery team is there to accuse people of what they think they did wrong, and then those people get that day in court. 
That's what we call a country of law. So don't just say let's a country of law. Let's, but why the people team together? It doesn't matter. No, no, the let me show you. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Francis. Guys, we have to take we have to take our Yeah, but Nancy, he can he don't allow him to go. This is a public platform. What what a man just said. Let me shop. Let me shop in our contradiction. They okay, the contradiction. Yeah. Let's look, look, look at what my brother is saying. My brother is saying that the asset recovery team is there to accuse people. Accuse people and other people now will be for it. No. The asset recovery team is there to, re to retrieve government assets. And in retrieving government assets, the asset recovery team need to have they are clear evidence. And before you go for anybody asset now, you don't just go to the person. The asset yeah. recovery team will go to the court to get warrant. Thank but you. Do you want to say anything? I Thank just you. Said? No, no, no. no, 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 no just when you have evidence, you accuse somebody yeah, of yeah, a crime. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the evidence you have. Guys. So uh, uh, that is that you reason. I have no evidence. I'm sorry. You have to talk to them. Yes. That is the argument. So so uh, uh, now now let's take Rudolph. Rudolph, please come in on this one, and then we'll take Amy. You know, now you listen to the comment there. from from the uh, yeah, speaker. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So uh, the speaker is saying that the entire asset recovery team that has been set up by the president um, lacks account uh, accountability. The assets recovery team comprises of semi politicians who are witch hunting past officials of government based on their stance on issues. And um, he's predicting that that team will be a failure. They will fail miserably. And 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 he's he's also recommending to President Brakai to dissolve the team and bring on board professional people who can adequately perform these tasks. What do you stand? Uh, do, do, do you think the, the the speaker was just on point when he said this? Uh, do, 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 you, do you buy the recommendation and the criticisms coming from the speaker being the third most powerful person in the country. Do you, for any reason, think that that comment has the propensity to derail the progress? Uh, maybe that's already been made or that should be, uh, that will be made by the asset recovery team. You know, Nelson, I'm going to, to start with, with, with laying a basics, right? So yeah. I was one of those people who did not want for Nancy Kofa to become speaker, I will be honest. But mm. since but since he became speaker, I would say it on this public uh, platform, he had proven me he has he, he, he had proven me wrong. Okay. But from the, since he became speaker up up to now, he has put Labiba first above party. That mm. I would, would say anyway. But when it comes to I mean uh, also just so you know, I watched part of that interview this morning. I watched yeah. it. And Nelson, um, I mean, I don't think, I don't want to, I, like I said, part, I did not watch everything, but from what I, I watched, I mean, I don't want to, I don't think he was that extreme, like how we are saying it here tonight. Um, the speaker was open. He said that he, I mean, he, he, so he called on him. He said, this person, is, I mean, had proven to be an expert when it comes to, to finding lost funds. I think the main phone, eight million lost phone that has been been in our account for 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 over twenty years, right? So I did, I did not hear him say dissolve the team and bring a new one. Yeah, but 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 again, Rudolph, but, Rudolph, Rudolph. If you if you just come into the conversation, they say when you come to chat, lay don't raise some. You you watch two seconds of the over okay. one hour interview that was conducted, and you just jump in the middle of the conversation. We no, ask you no, questions, no, then you I want to. Me. Okay, we'll come back to you. I we come we, we, we want you to follow the discussion. No, we'll no, see, I come in, I come in, I come in, I come in. But I also heard the part where he said that this thing is 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 a wish hunt, and I am gonna and 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 I would would tell you this for sure. From the onset of this thing, I mean, you all were here. I had had issues with how these guys were carrying on this process. Our voices are here, right? But in his capacity as a speaker. As the the term was powerful man in the country, Nelson, I don't don't think that statement to the the to the the to the press. I don't don't think think he should have said that. He said to us 
also that JMB takes a vow from him. So given his position and given how close he is to the president, I think he should have gone to the president and 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 you know and maybe try to advise him as well. But being who he is, saying this that this is a, a wage hunt, I think it has the propensity to to I mean to maybe silence this this whole process. No, no, no let, let, let's 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 do this. And we are about to go to I mean now, but let's do this. Um the asset recovery team. Mm -hmm. Since the executive order from the president has met strong resistance, yep, from permanent political, uh, uh, permanent opposition political actors. For example, Chairman Moluba Molu, a uh, former chairman, criticized the asset recovery team. Yep. Says it's a witch hunt. Senator Man Nathaniel McGill criticized the asset recovery team, but welcomed the war crimes code. Former representative of uh, uh, Carlos Gray of District 8. He said, if you're lucky, you'll take gun. You'll follow me with it. But that asset recovery thing, on there, your tie rope, even your tie rope for me, I can't submit myself to that and asset that's recovery what I'm thing because it's a witch hunt. Now, and then, today, so it, crown it, the whole it, thing, it the, the, speaker, the speaker then says, the thing is a witch hunt. In fact, it is a failure. The people lack accountability and, 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 and they are witch hunting past officials of government because of the stance those people had on issues. The entire team is comprised of seeming politicians and that the president should dissolve the team and bring and up... Nelson, I just said that he shouldn't have said that in the public because he is close to the, the president and he himself told us that JMB listens to him. I think okay. he should have gone and make those suggestions to JMB and, like, and Thank talk you. to him one-on-one. -on -one. Let's, let's, let's hold you there. Emmy, you want to come in? <laughs> Good morning, Nelson. Is yeah. that what it is? Good morning. I feel like it's, we're it's good already. morning from my end. It's good morning from my end. Uh, good evening, everyone. Yeah. Um, Bonandi Kofar. I mean, I understand. I respect his point of view and everything, but being the person in the position that he has, he already. You know, he got a chicken head and running around already calling no wish and he's not supposed to say that. The like ruler said he's supposed if he felt like something was wrong, he was supposed to go and meet with the president and instead of sitting there and I think that's the red meat being thrown to the base. I think he been too like, you know, in the middle and and I think they had a meeting on him. So he has to come out. And sound like them. Oh my man, what's going on? You 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 looking at you you, you know you kind of weak a little bit because when it as the recovery team was established, every tradition is a wish hunt. It's a wish hunt. It's a wish hunt. And they they had problem with the people on the team and whatever. And I don't know. It's just so laughable because it doesn't matter, even if they bring Emmy on the team. If you got something to hide it, we'll find it. I don't know what the, who, what does it matter who does it or not. And those people that are on there, they're not just going to take you and just say, oh, Bosco, come here. We're going to take you to prison. We're taking your house. We're taking your car. Without any private cause, without any proof whatsoever. When Look, look at Gracious Ride, Nelson. When they told Gracious Ride, what happened? They end up in the court, right? And the court went through everything and asked them to bring uh, um documentation. When they couldn't bring it, that's how the car left there. So they're not just going to take your stuff and nobody intervene or whatever and, and, and something. No. It's going to be a process through the court. So I don't know that they see a mongering or something. It doesn't matter who comes. They will still get the assets from y'all. And nobody's just going to get up. And Fernandi Kofa, I, I, I've been giving him the benefit of the doubt. But, you know, people slip. I won't still try to prosecute him or anything like that. But I think this his boys has called a little meeting on him. That's what I see the whole thing. No, I, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. This, this, this is a well-lended counselor you're talking about here. I mean, uh, you know, speaker of the 55th legislature. How, 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 how possible is it for boys to call a meeting on him and then there's a change of tone? I mean, very easy. This is the speaker we're talking about here. I know. She, I know we're talking about the speaker. But then again, we got a bunch of chicken heads running around. Think they got their own. No, 
uh, 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 they got the, the thing we still running against the paradise that when it comes away, all that mouth they go, you get do them days, you get do that. All right, let time come and your name get on that paper and they call you and you don't show up. Then you will know. You will know that. Some people okay. are those chicken heads and nobody listen to them, but for Fernandi Kofa to come out and say something like that, it's like, you know, putting fuel on a fire, like to make that whatever they're saying running around. To, 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 to amplify or something like that. I don't think Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vasco, I saw your hand up. You wanted to say something before going to Mikael? Tonight is so, uh, I'm here to make a lot of correction tonight. Oh, please. Ami said, when it's, after that, when it's, when it, as a recovery team uh, sees the gracious ride mm -hmm. and they went to court and they told the gracious ride people to bring documents. So the people refuse to bring the document. That's the reason why the car remain there. So the car not there. I mean, Christian rap people carry all their cars. Come on, Vasco. Everybody didn't know that story. Look at that. Yeah, okay, okay, guys. Let, let's make progress. Let's make progress. Let's make progress. Yeah, there are different aspects of this thing. We have a lot to cover. We, we yeah. So let's make progress. Mikael, when you want to chip in uh, quick, quickly, uh, weigh in your thoughts on this particular issue. Uh, <clears throat> Well, hello everybody. Well, Nessie, thank you for bringing us on here tonight again. Uh, we are back to discuss our country. First of all, let's just put things into perspective. The 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 very fact that the asset recovery came about when President Wakai announced it mm -hmm. seems to be already being upset with it. And you can see that obsession all over the country. For one fact, you know, where there is no smoke, there is no fire. We know that. But one of the, you know, I've been but, thinking. You know, Mikael, let's do this. Yeah. Even let's 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 assume or let's agree that um, there's smoke somewhere, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you assume that there's fire there. If there's anybody whose hand should be in the cookie's jar. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that it will be the speaker? Well, the speaker. Hey, if, if his head is not in the cookies jar, what, what, what issue then? What, what do you think then would be the motive of the speaker hearing on this thing? And you know, if I mean, I, I'm just trying to capture that aspect. But go ahead. You know, that, that way we're going next. But I wanted to leave some premises before I get there. But the 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 speaker should be the last on this topic. Because the speaker being a tear man that everybody has said, tear man in command in the country, mm -hmm. his voice is a heavy voice. And every all those guys that their hand is in the middle part of the cookie, I don't know about the speaker here being there, but mm -hmm. hey, listen, they are they were all in our government. Maybe, you know, as we're going down the line, something might pop up. You can't rule out every possibility of that. You understand? But but those guys who will, people know just from the get go that mm. some of their hand in that cookie jar and they've been saying all those things, the speaker should be the last person to come out at this early age of the assets recovery trying to manage it to hold among the Liberian people themselves should be the, the you know the very least person or the last person at this stage at the edit stage to start saying it out loud. He would have been consulting the background that speaking with the B heads who appoint who, who brought all this access recovery team. But this is the next thing I'm going to say. The access recovery team by itself, like I said, I've been talking to a few seditions, you know, that I know that I friend with that, you know, some of them like bro, some of them, yeah, yeah, bro. They all had the same old problems. If you listen to them critically and try to analyze where they're coming from. Their whole problem has been the selections of those people who carry on the process. Yeah. You understand? It's been, it been, it been a major problem because most of them I talk to say they are not against the assets recovery team, but they want neutral people who are who have never been in any government positions in Liberia or ain't had any you know set of mind that somebody has done something to them. In the past, or with whoever government officials that's supposed to be involved in this in this process, none of them should be part of those kind of people. They should be neutral people. 
and all that. But the fact that we keep telling them this will go through the curve system. This is not a wish hunt. This is not something that somebody would just come after yeah. make them boy you the thing you get for the government, then we just you know just take it. It will still go through that if they lie on you, they cannot prove beyond reasonable doubt that this belongs to the government and we are taking it from you, it won't happen. So don't be scared, we because the people being in politics or your thing they have marriage again, some of your people don't do that. We are all Liberians. But the state keeps saying the preaching the same thing. If you listen to the beat, the small, the middle, the last, they are singing the same song. So, now, now, you know, and, and, and that's a very important point, Mikkel. Yes, that's a very important point right there. But again, I, I want to play a portion of this clip. No, Rudolph, I didn't see your hand at all. I didn't see your hand, Rudolph. Um, I, I want to play a portion. Of... Wait, 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 we cut to you. Yeah, Nelson, you I want to play. Nelson, you always do this to me, though. I, I, no, I, I'm coming to you, Rudolph. <laughs> Just so you know, the <laughs> guy and so on. <laughs> so I want to play a portion of this clip. Mm -hmm. I want us to listen to this. This is the speaker right here, and the speaker is responding, or he's speaking to the gracious wrath situation. Okay. Apparently, something that we've never heard about gracious wrath. Maybe gracious wrath herself had never said. This is what the speaker said. Relative to the gracious RAS situation. Oh, it's not up. Oh, sorry. No, it's not up. A few taxes. Okay, so you 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 withheld an income for a day, huh? Who pays? This is a Liberian citizen. Who pays? If you go in after private property on suspicion, first you must have reasonable suspicion. You must have probable cause. You should go get a search warrant and a search warrant to say the places to be searched and the things to be seized. That is the law. That is the law. It's not to go set a roadblock to collect some of the taxes that they're making a living from. When you are in government, you better be on an obligation to make sure that you find, you, you run to bank, you, you, you go, you make deal with uh, somebody say, bring in these cars for me. I will work and pay because you're not going to be in government all the time. You're not going to be in government all the time. So you have an obligation. So somebody goes and make deal with, with somebody to bring cars for them and they do work and pay on it. Then you go and say, because the person was in government, the government asset. No, this is the point. This is the point, guys. The, listen. The speaker is indirectly telling the librarian people. Yes. They, indirect, they, indirectly. The story behind Gracious Wrath. And right, this, exactly. this, is how the speaker, this is how the speaker starts the conversation. Yeah, yeah he's supposed why to know the story, you, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why should you, why this should you stop someone's, someone's daily bread and, and, and stop the person from earning their, their stuff, uh, their livelihood or generating income a, a, an entire day? When you are in government, this is where the conversation starts from. Yeah. When you are in government, you better go out to banks, go out to individuals, strike deals, strike deals. Oh, we'll buy. You get for yourself something because you're not being government forever. So somebody, now the speaker said, somebody goes and strike deal with someone out there to import car so that mm -hmm. they will do work and pay on the car. Then you say your asset recovery team, you can see the car, you say that government asset. They but said we're black. How come, how come this story has never been out in the press? But who has not been? No, no, but, I'm, I'm coming, Mikael. You're going to have your time. Sorry, I know this discussion is, is hitting you. Uh, what what uh, AB can say, Jubu Jubu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but how come Liberians and even the gracious rat? I've never spoken anything about this 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 aspect. Where is the speaker getting this narrated from? He said, somebody goes out there, strike deal with people, bring in car for work and pay. Then you see the car, you say that your property, and you won't go after it. Who exactly did the president, the former president chief of, 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 of protocol, go into a deal with? What was the deal? What did the person stand to benefit? What was the arrangement like? Yes. Since in fact that person was in public office, what did the person, the company, the institution or individual in, uh, uh, with whom 
this deal was signed or entered into, what did that person stand to gain? Now, let, let's start the conversation from here. Uh, 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 let, let's, let's start with uh, Francis. And but then we're gonna... now. Oh, <laughs> no, now. We're, we're gonna come to you, Mikael. Oh, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna come to you, We're gonna come to you, Mikael. We're on a whole different level on this conversation now. We're gonna come to you shortly. We're gonna come to you shortly, Mikael. Mikael, we're coming to you shortly. Let's take yeah, Francis. Yeah, we're gonna come to you. Hey, uh, we're gonna take Francis Vasco, and we we'll come to you, Mikael. Nothing before you tell uh, Francis. Can you play that video again? No, we're tired of hearing it. Go ahead. You want me to play the video again? Yeah, because okay, I, no, think, no, no. I don't think I don't yeah, think okay. I think you should play it again, please. Yeah, because I don't think Funati mm -hmm. actually saying mm -hmm. this scenario you were giving. I think what that gave you a scenario, but you're not no, 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 no. talking no. about gracious right. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So for the sake of our audience, right. for the sake of our audience, and for the sake of this discussion. We're going to go back on this clip. And yes. I want you guys to listen to this clip again. Very carefully. Let me go back on it. Let's play it. The speaker see there right there. And let's listen to this. Less personalized or politicized. It doesn't become a partisan issue where you go run after feeling like free touches. Okay. Uh -huh. So you, 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 you withheld an income for a day. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who pays? Mm -hmm. This is a Liberian citizen. Who pays? If you're going after private property on suspicion, first you must have reasonable suspicion. You must have probable cause. You should go get a search warrant and a search warrant to say the places to be searched and the things to be seized. Okay. That is the law. That yeah. is the law. Yeah. It's not to go set a roadblock mm -hmm. to collect somebody's taxes that they're making a living from. When you are in government, you better be on an obligation to make sure that you find. You, you run to a bank, you, you, you go, you make deal with uh, somebody say, bring in these cars for me, I will work and pay. Because you're not going to be in government all the time. Okay. You're not going to be in government all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have an obligation. So somebody goes and make deal with, with somebody to right bring there. cars for them and they do work and pay on it. Then you go and say, because the person was in government, that government asset. Ready. Based on like people calling the, the, the rumors, you know the amount of rumors that go around left and right about people? Okay. Wow. Wow. So so this is where we are. The class giving us whole story is is story is scenarios. No, 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 guys, unless we heard something else, but but I want you to wait. Exactly. Who knows if I still want hearing something else? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, right. else said. Guys, 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 guys. You're not talking about Grisha's wrong. Only you hearing it. We okay, heard okay, okay, we're gonna come to that. The no car. interruption, guys. Let's 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 give everyone their time. Francis, can you come in, sir? Let's let's hear your take on this aspect. Yeah, the first thing I took from that whole thing is that the, the speaker says scare me. How are you telling encouraging government officials that are actively working for the government, encouraging them to go be striking deals with other people? Who know you you you're making things broad. I'm not saying government officials cannot have businesses, but you telling them you, you will leave office, so go be striking deal with people to bring your car in or to bring this in for you or you to do this for you this and the other and we all know conflict of interest if you're striking deals with other people to do things for you you scratch my back i scratch your back we don't know what type of official will be making deals to benefit themselves instead of benefiting the country so as a speaker you shouldn't be saying those things out loud that's scary okay then when he talk about the scenario or let me or, or whatever request scenario or statement but let's just look at it this way if i ask Vasco, can you bring cars in for me? Let me do work and pay. And then somebody can say, for instance, you stole all those cars from uh, Rudolph. Rudolph, they take me to court. The court said, for instance, bring all the documents to prove that you own the car. I can go to Vasco and say, Vasco, the court has, uh, uh, I'm in court right now for these cars. Even though I'm doing work and pay, but they want me to provide proof of, uh, of ownership of these cars. Vasco will give me all the documents. Vasco will give me all the documents. So it doesn't matter if it was work to pay or she owned all those cars. She's so great and right supposed to be able to present documents. So he's sitting there over there, putting a, a, one hand in a mouth and slapping yourself with the other hand, whatever you call it, doing, doing backflips and all that stuff. 
burning himself, twisting himself into pretzels because he not he he, he tried to just uh discredit it as a recovery team. Uh, Francis, Francis, yeah. one question: Even the the scenario he explained, according to Vasco scenario, right? Is that is it possible for someone to send a car to some somebody to run? And just send you a card that would have any piece of document proving it or uh, all to that effect. That, that's that exactly why I said it. when they went to the court, even mm -hmm. if Gracious Rob management was doing work and pay mm -hmm. and they impound their car, the Supreme Court, like we know our brother for the Sacramento Tree, let us say this country is a country of law. So the law, and that's the highest court in the land, say bring proof of ownership. Even mm -hmm. if they were doing work to pay, they can go to, to the to the people that own the car that they are working for and say, please give me the document. But they couldn't provide a single document. Like they, they let us say, oh, as a recovery thing, I have no right to ask them for a document. Only the court has the right to ask, but then the court said, give me the document. You can't present document. So what for the court are trying to talk about over there? He's not making any you, sense person. at all. Zero sense. So what a court, what, what a court so, allowed a car. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different thing. So you see, what a court that's the problem. A you, do not understand not your the time, you do not understand the argument. Thank you, Francis. You literally, the court said you did not do the right, you did not follow the right procedure. Give that car back. Let's have comfort. You see chain of of uh, 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 reaction here? You did not do the right thing first, Vasco. Yeah. And then let's follow the next step, conference. Then the conference led to present document. So, no um, document we don't even this, right? So Vasco, try to understand things, bro. Sorry, Amy, oh, Vasco, Vasco, next. Go ahead, Vasco. Thank you. Um, I mean, the contradiction is too, too plenty to learn this show. Okay, look. Do you find a contradiction? And I'm speaking to you. I always told you. And I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to the people that listen to the radio. Okay. What? Too many, too many mistakes coming from you. Say, oh, me, 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 oh, make it a little simple. Make it a little simple. Look, this whole thing. Nobody should beat on the speaker. Like I said earlier, the speaker is a counselor. You sit right here. You know very well that. The step the asset recovery team took, it was wrong. And they have admitted that they have to go back and re strategize and come back. That's what he's saying, my brother. It don't work that I in court. If I catch you, Nelson, and say you stole something from me, okay, and I take you, I will take you there. I don't want to have to prove. This is the burden of true love. Uh, 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 Vasco, that's not the question. That's not the conversation right now, though. The conversation was about what the speaker just said about this. According to you, the scenario that he just gave. What I mean, what is your take on that? That's what I was saying. I was trying to speak to what my brother was saying. No, speak to the issue. Before coming, look, the speaker was very clear. Okay, go back and listen to that clip hundred times. Like I said, he was just making a scenario saying that, look, if you're in government, okay, government is not everlasting. You're going to be there for some time. We all know that the president that we have today, he made it clear to the whole world that he was living on loan. So he was going to the bank, taking money from there. So mm -hmm. to go to the bank, that's what they get banked for. Whether you're working in government or you're not working in government, the bank is there to take loan. So if you go to the bank and the bank trusts you, if mm -hmm. I tell the bank, say, bank, can you help me? I need to get so, so, so a month. And the bank tell me, say, okay, we can do this for you. We'll strike the deal. There is nothing wrong with that. But nothing. Rando, can a bank give you a, a deal? No, no. A, a, I mean, a loan Amy, without any, you, any you, paperwork? Emmy, Emmy, forget bank. Forget bank. Forget bank. No, no, no. no. Uh, 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 Vasco, I, I'm coming, Vasco. Not your time, right? Bank can strike deal. Uh, yeah, so let, let's do this. Vasco, we understand the bank aspect. But yeah. what do you make of the speaker telling people, say, you're going to strike deal? You're going to strike deal with people 
uh, we're in the institution for you to get some other thing because you're not being government forever. You 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 want me to get that that, that particular portion of the click uh, clip coming again? No, you want to play it, Nancy, but like that, like like I just said right here, my statement. But that's what strike deal. What do you make of government officials going to strike deals with companies with with foreign people who no, no, also I, have an interest, expect to benefit something at the end of the day? What is the said, deal about? Nancy, the banks. Let me tell you, banks around the world. No, Everyone forget the it. bank aspect. Vasco, lead the bank aspect. You want no, me to here the law too too legal. There's a legal no, 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 Let's see, play a soccer conclusion. Because you're not going to be in government all the time. Like somebody in Texas that they're making a living from. Who you go, you made D with. Uh, who you go, you made D with. Uh, somebody say, bring. Better be on an obligation to make sure that you find, you, you run to a bank, you, you, you go, you made D with. Uh, somebody say, bring in these cars for me. I will work and pay. Because you're not going to be in government. So, so, so here, here we are. They're very clear. Run to bank, you go, you make deal. They declare. Run to bank, and you think it's clear. You say run to bank, bank and go to somebody. Nelson, let go to somebody, you. you go, you, you make go to deal. somebody, and you go Nelson, to bank. Nelson, you said it twice. Nelson, banks, mm. bank, mm. Hmm? bank, a profit making entity. And what no, most of bank, most of the banks around the world, you want to know about bank do, <laughs> let's see, let me talk now. What banks, most of the banks do, you look at the way for Nancy Kofi is a speaker, he got properties, right? Bank, don't, when I talk about deals, these are the deals that the banks write. There will be, you're going to get collateral, property. Even small person, you go to the bank, the bank will tell you. So you can go and strike, even if the bank look at your potential, they say, okay, but this man, he got to work for property this lane. If you want 50 cars, we can get you the money to get the 50 cars. And you got to work and pay. There's nothing wrong with that. He, the man all stole. He, he, the big look at that man potential. He can get you even 1,000 cars. Thank you. Because he know you will pay. Thank you, Vasco. Thank if you, you don't pay, you and that bank, that bank will come for your property and take all the cars from you. That's how Thank banks you. work. Thank you, you, you Vasco. Yeah, yeah, I think that you know how banks work. Thank you. Um, let's let's bring in uh, Mobile Zoka. The man been off the show for a very long time. You they make it to Liberia like after after uh, after about a month or so in Liberia. The man is back. Come on, honeymoon. What what about what on the show? It's good to have you. Thank you, Nash. Man. Thank you to all the panelists, man. Thank you for you know. But, but, but when uh, what happened to your voice? You left from Liberia and your voice changed, my man. What's going on? Oh, or were you sleeping? Were you sleeping or what? Your eyes, everything changed. Anyway, we'll come back to that aspect. I was sleeping. I just wake up now. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I mean, uh, uh friends, my man, thank you for holding, uh, holding the show, man. At least, you know. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my man, want me to thank, again, thank, thank you. Thank you. We'll come to you. We'll come to you. Welcome to you. Let's 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 have you to come in. You know, guys, um, I would not, not want us to be at, attack on this take with Vasco on this show. I think it's important that we, I mean, we clear his, we, we clear the, the contradiction and speak to the truth. Yeah. And one of the greatest measure of integrity is to always be honest with the truth. That was HB. Um, you know, Nelson, the rationale behind Government job doesn't last forever. So when you are in government, have a fallback plan. I see nothing wrong with it. But the context through which the speaker made that statement, that is the problem. Like, like the other guys have said on this show, if we take his argument for it, and we say, okay, maybe if you're not going strike or deal, and she got those cards, where are the documents? If if she has been chased by this team and being asked to provide documents, where are her partners? 
why why can she go to them and make those documents available so that is where that is where the actual issue lies nelson but nothing is wrong with the speaker saying that when you are in government have a fallback plan because this 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 doesn't still last forever nothing is wrong with that with with that thank you uh M Mikael, you want to come in but you know uh thank you a couple of questions i guess for me personally i want to ask the speaker that consider the speaker don't know the individual we're talking about and he being Liberia third man in command where did he get all or uh, how did he know that this individual in questions even strike a deal for those vehicles how did he get well, where did he get the information he's not part of the access recovery team he not he not one of the code people i mean he's supposed to be making law and this is access recovery team going after people that I got government but, but, but mind you now mind you uh 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 the speaker is not just an ordinary person the fact that the speaker has some alignment or affiliation with the cdc means that's that where I'm, that's where I'm going. That's exactly yeah. what I'm going. So okay. the, the, the speaker already know there's something going on. You understand? He cannot just come up to say what he had to say, but he had to find a way to, you know, to, to almost like lecture people like this was supposed to be like this, this was supposed to be like that. When he already know where this is coming from and where this is going. So he knows something. That's why he's speaking all those things. That's why he's saying what he's saying. He knows something. Because if it was just a blind person that coming from the left side, I don't know, nothing going on, he wouldn't be saying that. He wouldn't be saying that. But since the speaker know that something is going on, and they all been saying this is a wish hunt, wish hunt, wish hunt. So that where he coming from, that the same position all of them coming from. Thinking that people targeting people for what they have. But the process in which they obtain those uh, 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 property is where we're all coming from. And we know all of our background from Liberia, how people, family live there and all that. This is where we are coming from. How can you get this overnight? You never had no business going on in Liberia. We don't know you to be, or, or, or you never found no diamond or win the lottery anywhere. But how did you accumulate this, 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 this amount of wealth in short period of time? But the speaker now, almost like you're attacking the assets recovery team for, go, you know, for doing that job. And they always believe that it's a question because they're going after particular people that you know the, the, everybody you know wondering about in the country. So wow. I think I, I don't think the speaker was right to ask those questions and making those advances. You know, I mean it's not even proper. Wow. I mean, is it is yeah. it your time or Mova? No, Mama gotta sit down. You don't know what's going on right now. Um, so, um, I think we're getting it wrong here. Uh, um, Rudolph and Vasco, no one is saying that you having a deal with a bank is the wrong thing. Let's get that clear. And no one is saying that we don't know what bank do. Let's get that clear. My, my, the question my, here my is that... Is not just the bank. I am speaking in general that a deal. Yeah, the problem here, the, the question here power. was that the question here is that the speaker said that if you go, first of all, the, the situation here is that they asked Grish, they could ask Grish's ride to provide documents for these vehicles, right? And the speaker here now making explaining the case for uh, 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 Grish's ride because we don't we didn't hear Grish, that Grish's ride make this uh, 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 kids in court saying that oh somebody gave them this right and something like that. So we hear we are hearing it from the speaker. So the speaker not making that case for them, saying oh somebody do that and somebody make a do somebody do that. Okay, we agree that can happen. But where are the documents to that effect? We are saying the where same is thing it? Now. Where is it? Uh, I mean, this should be you should be able to provide this. What if the the the, the police stop you in the street? Why are you running these vehicles? You're just telling them, oh, I, I strike a deal with somebody because I don't know I'm going to be in government forever, so I'm here, so I don't, but I don't have the paper. That, that's crazy. This is what we're talking about. We're not talking about, oh, you, you don't go to bank and go strike deal, or you can't do the one. You don't know how the bank works. No, that's not what we're saying. 
that something is wrong with that. You in a, you you in a paper. The paper will be there. And what the deal is, whatever you're giving this person, or what you're supposed to do for this for these part of the person giving you, it will be there. It will be your 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 your, your whatever your um proof or kind of receipt for the same if thing, anybody yeah. asks you. So uh, Gally, let me talk. <laughs> you already say oh. So um. So that's why we 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 need to stop making it seem like oh we it's a bad thing that somebody said oh that she strike a deal or whatever I don't know strike a deal or she credit from somebody let's say that credit these cards from somebody that should that should be a document to that effect that's what we are saying saying he's coming up with that argument for them we know he's a lawyer or whatever but he as a lawyer also he should know that there's no way that anybody would be in the street driving a car or. Texas, running Texas without any documents. What if the police stop you and ask you? What would you say? So that's, that's, that's just crazy that somebody will come sit here and say, oh, they, they said that she's still a car. You can go to the bank. You don't know the bank. How the bank work? You're in America. You don't know how bank. Ooh, that's not a question. I think you don't know what we're saying. Whoa. How the poor get a lesson? How do you even get a lesson play attached with a car with a car like a document? Ergo. We should be asking your speaker. No, how can a lesson play get a car? Get common sense, bro. The Supreme Court asked you for time. Yeah, you will never be a miracle. Who cares about how they did it on a judge we are government? The Supreme Court, this is a new government. The Supreme Court asked for that document. President, don't you, attack you, 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 you can get one You can get one transport. You can't get no document. You can't get it. But then give it to the Supreme Court. Why not give it to the Supreme Court then? Wait a minute. So, Vasco, did they provide document when the Supreme Court asked for the document? That document you're talking, what is the paper you're going to prove that? What, what, what the what document is man, don't make me shut my computer off and get out of here. What do you mean, what the paper for you to prove? Don't come in and show sour tonight, man. <laughs> What is the document that you're going to prove that? What do you mean, the document you're going to prove? Why do have to prove that, Gretchen, I don't have document? Are you serious? That's uh, uh, so dumb. Vasco, this dude, right? there is what we have to do. No, man. Let me get lower. I can't even ask you. Ask the question. I come in. I'm not telling you. Oh, so, so, so. Oh, so, 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 you so, never so, read uh, it. Did uh, something uh, from the court? Uh, Labrador uh, business uh, registry have come out and said, on the screen now. You can prove me wrong. You're putting it on the screen. Yeah, I mean, that's the case. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. 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 Let's if you're asking for what proof we got, so at, at the end of the day, well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there, there are information coming up. <laughs> there are information coming up relative to this entire thing. If there's one thing that that I think the asset recovery team should take a run with now is the fact that the speaker has given some pieces of information that even Gracious Rod did not tell the asset recovery. Exactly, team. that's what I'm saying. All right. So, and, and it calls for investigation, investigation from, from so many ends. Nobody should say the speaker was giving a scenario. That thing, that's not scenario. <laughs> that's not scenario there. The speaker was giving first-hand information. Like Mickey Hunt said, the speaker is not just ordinary person. Now they pass up by people who are passing and just want to talk to them. No. This is the third a uh, 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 highest ranking official uh, of government in the country. And he's not this is, or this is someone who is close, very close to the owner of Gracious Rye. They're in the same party, they're in the same establishment. Vasco knows that. Maybe all of them in the same chat room. Vasco knows yeah. that. <laughs> so if the man will come, look, the people say, well, alligator come from under the water and take uh oh. Okay, Melvin got wrong. But that's what I'm saying. That man, we not make that noise in one at a time. I'm Miami Internet. Let me, let me go ahead, Vasco. I mean, go ahead. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Mobile. Oh. No, but actually, uh, I was following the whole conversation. The uh, this area. For me, I would just emphasize on the document issue because I hear Vasco saying that uh, people go to bank. You know, people can uh, you can loan as much money. You know, the bank want to loan you as much. You get property, of course. But how much uh, Fina Bundle, according to our brother Vasco, she you know, uh, she was loaned by the bank. Let's just provide evidence and document to the to the court that she took this money from the bank, and the money was disbursed in her account to buy the uh, uh, to, to, to 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 get those vehicles. And that's what, I think that's what caught the whole case. It was just 
you know, pack that other side. And only thing we'll be discussing right, about the tax paying, how many times they pay tax and other stuff. But we'll come here, we'll just argue on, um, you know, like we we going up, coming up, saying this, saying that. It may like you 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 can justify those things, uh, 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 Vasco. So when we come here, we come here with we come here with, with tangible information. Just make it clear. You know, so another day, the document can the document can say it all. The bank statement can say it all. We don't have to come here. You don't have to come here to justify for her. So the document now will justify for her. And the, and, the, and the recovery assets team now will only emphasize or discuss the, 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 the time the company was not paying taxes to the government. And there where now they can start from. I think I'm on a piece of idea. Well, Rudolph, um, Rudolph let, me, let, me, let me respond. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Thank you. Gentlemen, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. I'm a lady. Mm. Yeah, I want to pull lady first now. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Guys. Amen. Government <laughs> asset recovery. What kind of document, document, document you're talking? Look, when you're going to retrieve government asset, you know what you do first? You have to get all your evidence that the asset you're going to retrieve oh, it was government money or government something. You got to have all these things. My man. No, that's in the root of, brother. That's the, the mistake you're making here. I will not just see Rudolph, guys. I don't have anything to prove that Rudolph. Has, that Rudolph we, have, we have crossed that bridge. I know. No, that they bridge, crossed that bridge. No, that bridge. You're has talking been, about no. I they crossed Vasco, the bridge because. Hey, I get you, my time. Hey, I get you, my time. I come in, now, please. All right. Vasco, that bridge has been crossed already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The the court has already said. I mean, you guys did not follow the proper channel, just like I said on this show many weeks ago. The court has said that. So we have crossed that bridge. Now, where we are is that please provide us the documents for this for these vehicles. That's how did you how did you obtain them? If we we agree oh, with the, sense, the speaker's argument, yeah, yeah, then we say, okay, good. If you went into deal, what was this deal? Who and you <laughs> went into this deal? Then listen. Where are the documents that you received these things as CP? And mm -hmm. if and if it is legit, these things these things will be easy to bring to the table. Let's very, see. very easy. That's let's see. If the asset recovery team hmm, go to the court, go to the court. Who else? Let's see. 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 let if your asset recovery team go to the court hmm, and tell the court that, oh, I need to investigate this gracious round. I need them to bring document. The court don't even ask your asset recovery team, what do you have? What do you have to make us to understand that those people you invited, their own government property. There have been record to show that it's not a back and forth. You know, yeah. like, you know, yeah. the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 i now, see if you don't take this thing. <laughs> I know, man. You don't take that. What did that do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. That's a thing. You know, I think he's trying to come back. Morning, eat off from our face. Now, see what is this? The show finished at 12 o'clock. Guys, 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 sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, it's due to some technical issue here. Let me try to handle it quickly. But let the person that's talking be talking. Man, yeah, but you, you moonlighting me. But me, I be talking. Let's put on the radio. He he he's fair when he talking. Okay. Again, no, yeah. this, this this whole this whole thing is is just frustrating. The the topic uh, our discussion. They were saying you want to move it that way. You come here every single day. Oh, you didn't do it right. We all agree. We all agree. So if you have nothing to say, start talking. But don't keep re making remix. So what everybody already saying 
They didn't do it right. The court said, get that car back. Let her conference. I will go for the step again. Let her conference. Thank you. After Thank the you. conference, uh, uh, then Grace and Rock bring documents. We'll give you five days. Grace and Rock show up, no documents. Court said, okay, as a recovery team, can resume uh, what they were doing, but the, within the law. So mm -hmm. if they say resume or continue what you are doing, how is it that uh, what 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 they're doing is <laughs> not uh, pretty much ordained by the court? Because you want to say they have to go to the court to get people right to come and, and get this evidence against this person well, before bringing them. No, I do you know. Let's do this. Let me just we have to give Rob Let me just finish. So that's the whole thing. But Vasco can just be already playing a call here. You know, you know he's you want to come in, Miko? You know, but that the uh, because the, the, the what we're discussing right now is from the speaker to addiction to other defenders for the, the, no, the, the lean, speaker lean like comment you were making. Yeah. You understand? And the thing is very clear. The speaker I already start defending the people that the assets we're coming trying to go again. Well, lean like well, lean was giving some great point. Go yeah, ahead, I'm sorry. You know, you start defending the people already, you know, as to why the assets we call team not have to do they not have to do that about them. But the thing here is that the map, I, I mean, exactly. the map is from my mom anyway. But the thing exactly. is, exactly, exactly. Those people, they know each other. The speaker know what the book coming from. He came from there. He part of them. So if you start defending them already, then then there's something wrong. You understand? There's something wrong, and we have to find out what is wrong. That's it. But guys, let's do, this. let's do this. Do you, do you, do you, do you guys think that um, the Unity Party miss out on this golden opportunity to have a speaker that will push the Unity Party agenda? Uh, you, 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 you want me coming? What was the question? Start? Do you guys uh, think if that the Unity Party, for any reason? Missed out on this golden opportunity to have a speaker that will have fostered the Boaca administration's agenda. What do you mean, missed out? Out, 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 meaning like you know, the party missed, you know, missed the speaker. Yeah, because the contestant, it's not like they, they failed to put in a candidate. That's why I said, What do you mean, missed out? No, no, but let, let no, because they now want to speak up. That's what you mean. But I will not, I will not look at it as a failure. For from the the, the, the unity party uh, angle, you know it's a balanced uh, 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 government. So I believe that the speaker come up from the opposition, and they, you know, so that the government now can be balanced. Another day, let the Liberian like, people judge the speaker, and let the judge the entire House of Representatives who will go on the right or who will go on the left. Now everything people will say they say yes sir, to it. So I believe that there is no misstep. You know the party fought, uh, but they lost in the process. So uh, I, I will not see it to be like a, a disappointment for the unity party. As long as, for, I think Funati Kofa doing a great job. For the past time, I've been following him. He's doing a very great job. We shouldn't come here and criticize him because, you know, because in, in, you know, he's from the, 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 the unity party. He been, he been independent in the house and he been pushing the agenda of the Liberian people. So, but the assets we call team, you know, he made some great point. Another day, we all look up to the, 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 the you know the judge to 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 to, to call the case and you know bring the perpetrator to justice and make sure that the people go back and, and start their work because it's still I think it's still on hold. The others because it's still on hold. Yeah. Thank you. Um let's 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 hear from you. Um, so, um, let's let's hear from you, um Ami. Yeah, so I wouldn't call that miss uh, opportunity because they are they, they they contested Nelson and they lost. So I, I wouldn't say oh they missed an opportunity because they didn't put candidate you know anything like that. But the thing is that nobody's beating up. But missing an opportunity is is it just about you not putting Kennedy in? Did the, the unit? Well, if they had an opportunity and they ignored, they, 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 they can say. 
the work that the unit of power put in the work from the very absolutely start. they did everything they could and they, i mean they did everything they could and then they um they i guess they were lied to by people that said it was going to vote for them but there's nothing else they could do they talked to everybody they ran that campaign it just didn't work out for them that's all okay. but Thank you. then again i would say that um no one is beating up on a deep profile we saying at his his position He's not supposed to be saying those words that he's saying. We're not saying, oh, he's a bad person. He's this, he's that. He's, right now, he's he's acting like Christian's right uh, uh, attorney by making those accusations or explaining the way they acquired the cars and, and which they, they didn't say that in court. He's not saying it. So it's playing a, he's playing a partisan role right now because he's acting like that attorney and saying things like they already sat down together and came up with that. That narrative to run with it or to redirect the narrative, something like that. So that's what we're saying. Thank you very much. Um, Vasco, you want to come in? Vasco, do you do you, do you think there was a missed opportunity for the unity party when it comes to the speakership? You are you are muted, Vasco. Um, it was a missed opportunity for them because I mean. Every government will want to maybe control the house so that some of the, uh, may, maybe the main agenda or some other things that we want to do so mm -hmm. these things can be able to you know, go through smoothly. But I can tell you for sure, we're going to enjoy the, the horse, the, the 55th of legislature. We'll enjoy them because like, and, 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 and CDC, we, we dominate that place. So we there will be there will be a lot of checkpoints the government going to <laughs> and, and, and the, this is important because the government there will be a lot of checkpoint if this government want to ban anything the caucus and you saw the cdc caucus the, the speaker oh when you're in you were in a meeting no and the mistake now merci and this is something too i want you to fall to talk about castle of martin the head of this article you know that the host someone here and the other lady from the from 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 LACC now there's someone, the both of them, they have to go explain yeah, how as the former president asset declared uh, the uh, reason she came outside. Yeah, cut out. Yeah, they, they, so they, you see, there's yeah. some more ex officials of the LACC. But, but, but LACC. I want to come back to so this, right? Chapel, but but I, I want to come back to this. If it was a United Party speaker over there, that kind of stuff would just go on on the, on the carpet. So, 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 I, yeah, so, so I, 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 want, I want us to go back to this. Under the unit, uh, the CDC administration, the CDC had the lower house and the upper house. You had Speaker Buffer Chimas at the House of Representatives. You had yeah. um, um, Albert Chie at the Senate. Yeah. The CDC controlled both houses. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. uh, on the unit of the party administration, the UP could not, the UP could not, Despite all of the, you know, attention that the unity party was getting, all of that, but the UP could just not secure That's for herself that particular seat. And that is why when Edward Snow said that uh, the country is heavily divided, people want to argue. Look, you have the president say we agree. You got majority of the people voted for you over the CDC. But look at the house. And those people in there that CDC control, these are the people that speak for the, the citizen. Thank you. In the, in the lower house there. Then why are not speak so in the past in the past <laughs> in the past years? Yes. You are that they're holding bravery. Let's say complete around the book. I know why you need to sleep to that to my would have I spoken, right? Would have you spoke? No, no, they caught me off. Let's hear you. Let's hear you. You know the other thing. Next thing I'll be these people are be talking and just interrupting. I mean. Speaking to this thing politically, um, it's a good thing for a certain government to to have both houses, like the the lower house and the upper house. But the other thing, for the the sake of best practice, I think what is going on now is the I mean it is the best because this, in a sense, uh, shows that Liberia has come very far with with i mean when it comes to its democracy because and the thing is you have to be careful right we saw that the last the last we 
Jim, we saw that Mr. We are controlled the both houses, right? But then his intentions, his will for the country wasn't good. So you have to be careful if, or I mean, you can can say that, oh, it's a good thing for, for the ruling government to control both houses, but then who is in power? What is his, in, his intentions? What is his politics? What is his, his what are, are his ideas? Is he thinking in the interest of the people or not? And I do believe that with the level of peace and success that we are enjoying from the lower house, Nelson, if if this lower house could have elected the UP candidate, we wouldn't have enjoyed this peace. I can tell you that for free. Because the CDC has a, a lot of tough lawmakers in that house. So, so Forante Kofa has been able to, I mean, to like, so they, so they see him as, as their own, and then he also understands the agenda of James. So are you saying that, that there would have been tension in the, in yes. the house, at the yes. House of Representatives, yes. in the case yes. where there was a UP speaker? Yes, Nelson. And but but, but the, and again, the speaker, the speaker carries a lot of weight, and, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the point I want us to also see it from, mm -hmm. right? The speaker, no matter what your how beautiful your communications are, the speaker determines which communication gets on the floor Thank for this country today. Thank the speaker you. will decide whether or not the president's agenda will survive or even surface on the floor for discussion. Yep. That so, given everything we saw, United Party, uh, you know, was a bit like a Darcy call, but lately they, they then started to put in the energy. Do you think it was a missed opportunity? We saw that with President George. We are saying everything you want to say Nothing. about him, but that he is, managed to secure both houses. That is and why, because of that, uh, he had to so go out and be so loud about everything he wanted to say about the president. But at the end of the day, once we got Boba Chima wanted, it will go through. Nelson, the president. Yeah. Nelson, that is why I answered your question in two folds. We agree, Mr. We are control both houses. But what yeah. did he achieve from that control? Nothing. Apart. <laughs> yeah, and and but, that is why I told you. I mean, we have to understand first of all the yeah, intention Jenna. of the the leader, his will and his ideas for the people. And with 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 this current current house, if we're going to elect the guy from the UP, the peace that, that is that that is in that house right now. You see how how do you you see how fast it was to have this whole welcome code thing going. But trust me, if if we had Rachel Kuhn, the guys from the CDC were going to to see this thing to be a UP for the for, for the CDC battle, and okay, we're not, not going to enjoy the peace that we are enjoying in that house. That is what I think. Well, we are civilized people who don't destroy. Thank you. Uh, uh, everything let's, lies let's, let's on the hear from, let's hear from Francis. Francis, you want to wait us on this? Everything lies let's on the, the fact that the speaker understands. Thank you. Vision, Thank you. He that he will work with JMB's vision. Thank That's you. Ruler. Ruler, 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 you can make a point one time. You can make some day, listen, Pian. When they're passing by you, then you won't come with it. I know they won't come by and raise it again. They make it laugh. Then we take Mikael. Yes. I mean, it would have been nice for the um, United Party to have gotten the speakership. But on the other hand, it doesn't, um, I mean, make a big difference based on the if the executive is sending, uh, um, let's say, bills and stuff to hit the floor, the speaker can can delay or block, or block them from going to the floor. But, um, I mean, as we can see, Fernando Kofa, when it came to the resolution for the war economic crime code, he put it on the floor for for a vote and it passed. You know, crucial crucial things uh, um, uh, in the interest of the country, he is putting them. But don't for, make no mistake, he is a, a he is an opposition. So we have to expect these things. We can't say, oh, he shouldn't have spoken that way about. Um, in, in, you know, spoken in that manner about the Christian rap situation and as a, as a recovery team, that's what oppositions do. Right now, they are campaigning for 2029. So they will obstruct every, uh, whatever way possible. That's what oppositions uh, do. But when it comes to uh, uh, national issues um, that benefit the country, 
He's yeah. not going to stay in the way of it. He, he, he like, like he's been doing. So, I mean, I don't have any issue right now. I expect him to be an opposition, and he's doing exactly what opposition do. So it's on the, the, the government to have that spokesperson to come out, their own explainer in chief, to combat sure. all those uh, mis, uh, the, uh, 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 false information that have been put out there. But the speaker will do what an opposition will do. Thank you, Mika. Hey, hey, what one point? I know one point. You know, you're going to split. Where you doing that, buddy? Man, let me let me finish my own thought now. Oh, wait, next thing, let me call me all gentlemen, but not open my mouth. So please let me just. Well, um, next thing, the question you're asking, that question is very important, and I will answer to that question of B. Yes, uh, the the city. Let me say the UP led government make a very, very, very big mistake by not having that speakership. The fact that, you know, we like Brimpo, the one thing we we quit to do is we quit to be satisfied. We quit to be satisfied. The the government just been in power for, I think, 70 days or 78 days now. And we all yeah pressing the speaker. The speaker has done this. The speaker has done that. But one thing you got to keep in mind is this guy is an opposition. And the fact that we're holding... The, by President Boakai on all his premises, all the good things he's thinking on Liberia to do for Liberia. Guess what? Will this speaker go in line with everything that would be good for the country when that would make United Party the low good coming elections? You gotta be thinking about that. You gotta think of you know ahead of the game, not just say yeah and say, oh, financial speaker be a, I mean a very good speaker and you're gonna be like that. But see, for example, we just gone one inch. The man already start defending people. You have no business defending as a speaker for country Liberia. This supposed to be down the line. He's not supposed to be bringing this up anytime soon because the access recovery just started. They even hit the ground yet running. They even <laughs> had nothing going on. Then you, you as a speaker coming up to start defending people like that. That's why the opposition business starting in front. And we even go nowhere yet. Think about two, three years from now. Will the speaker still be doing what he's doing right now? And the thing you are saying that if United Party were going to win the speakership, it wasn't going to be too good for the country. Listen, you uh, are. Say, I call it uh, CDC were going to be objecting everything. One thing they all got to keep in mind is we send them there in our house to work for Liberia, not for party. That's where they all will carry, be carried away all the time. And Liberia had never actually benefited anything good from the both houses in Liberia because they go there with a party interest and with their personal interest and Liberia have been struggling through all this while and those guys have never made no you know tangible legislation thank you and people so oh. we should not be my man, all right let me talk <laughs> let me let, let me start. come in a little bit yeah. Oh, well, you, you you want to overthrow the female moderator? What, what's going on? I want to overthrow myself so I came to rescue Amy because these guys say, yeah, they yeah. plan to go to sleep tonight. Amy, I'm here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I don't think anybody is saying, satisfied with anything here. When people, when somebody do something good, it's good to say it. Until you can see them doing the wrong thing. Don't just come in we and just uh, predict that it will be this monster. Until he can start showing his monstrous way that going to jail, we will we will say he's a he's a good man. So for what we have seen so far, when I take over, Ben, he's been he's been doing like you know meeting in the middle. So we were gonna say it, but he coming pretending to be Fina Bono's lawyer. Yeah, that we said it was not good with his position he's not supposed to do that but we're not coming because he's a sedition then we just cast a cloud over and oh he's gonna be this person he's gonna know we're not we're not do that and i don't think it's fair on his part and that's until he can to, show, that he, can, to until he can show that i think we should give him his flower wherever he does well regardless of what something we want him to be to work with the president okay not Thank for you. bad things for the good things that's what we want Thank him to work you. with the president for. And when he okay. does it, of course, we're giving his flower. I agree with you. Not to say we are that satisfied really. because we're giving it to him. Not to stop. Thank, Thank not you for coming. I'm, I'm, I'm not against that either. I'm not so, saying I'm against it. So, 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 so,
So, guys, I, I cannot do my introduction. <laughs> so you can speak on the topic. We do an introduction. You can do your, your, you can do your closing right now. You can do your I'm taking over my kids and now doing my introduction and my closing together. No. We're about to go to the phone line so you can uh, make your way in your thoughts. Then we go to the phone line. and. Uh, That's yeah. okay, Nelson. You can go to the phone line. Oh, okay. Oh, really? I mean, I want to do my introduction and closing because I just know as soon as I start talking, Nelson will just cut me off. So, no, you can go ahead. I mean, where your thoughts on the the asset, the the uh, the speakers coming today? Uh, that the asset recovery team is is a failure. It lacks accountability, and in fact, he's calling on the president to dissolve the the the, the asset recovery team. You can weigh in your thoughts on that as we try to go to the phone line. Um, I don't know. I I won't say the asset recovery thing is a failure, but I mean, like, he just, I would say the speaker that just trying to make sure that, um, there should be a process and procedure that the asset recovery team need to follow. I think they started on the wrong page from the, the beginning. So, you know, pointing that out, um, I don't think anything wrong with that. Um, that's what he should be doing, looking out for our people. So I would not say like get rid of all of them. How about you start with training them, um, you know, giving them the, the tools that they need to be successful. I think we can do that for them. But as far as how they started first, that was in the right way or the right um process and procedure they have nothing in place at least from my perspective so you know just making sure that they have something in place that they can follow will be a great way to move forward thank you thank you Shirley. thank you sherry um i think we can go to the phone lines now and take some calls uh Alfred yes, is graduating uh, so you can call us up on the numbers on the screen. Um, please don't place a direct call to that number. Call only on WhatsApp. That's why we say a WhatsApp number. Our direct call number is the 0555101075 number. But let's take this person here on the line, our first caller. Hello, you're live. Your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, uh, Nelson, good evening to you guys. This is Hashim Fabula calling from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Go ahead. You know, everybody have to everybody have to cover their their own rule, and so the, the speaker to like own rule what they trying to what they call it for. Guys, <laughs> everybody have to own rule. So the speaker, the speaker inside is a criminal because if you speaker, you sort of come out to say that about thing. No, no, the, you yes, know the man is a speaker, not criminal, but I don't know that kind of thing. Now <laughs> that the term was powerful. No, but Nelson, he is a convicted criminal. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ashim. You know, I seen that. Hello, let's take this person. Your name and where you calling from? Good morning, Nelson. Yes, sir. Let's hear you. Yeah, you are live. You are live. Go ahead, sir. Let's hear you. Oh, thank you, Nelson. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, um, and good morning to the rest of the team members. Uh, so, real quick, my name is Stephen Kelly, calling from Rhode Island. And once again, I want to ask you how many meaning and or how many seconds do I have for my contribution? Oh, you just took one. <laughs> you are again? halfway done. Okay, okay, we're gonna give you okay, for the for, you. for the five seconds. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, um, my first my first um intro into this thing is that. For instance, the access recovery team, okay, if, for instance, Rudolph was going to be the head of the asset recovery team, okay, and you're taking here as an example, the first thing he should have done to go to the GSA, have his team members at work, such document ministries that have not returned or have not turned in vehicles and establish how many lost vehicles we have already. And then, of course, when it comes to the uh, the rest of the members that work with government that already purchased some vehicles and things that is running, I believe in my mind 
that no vehicle that will be running in Liberia will not go through the proper channel of registration. And before you register a vehicle in, in Liberia, you have to go to the Ministry of Transport and you have to present documents before you do the registration. So they should have gone there, rulers should have sent the guys, go there to establish a file that would have intelligence on, on, on this guy called Marker. Okay, so we want to check his document. Some vehicles that he running in Liberia wouldn't know as to what it was a register. So you gather all the facts then before you proceed with your 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 your, your the arresting Thank and you. taking away things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh let's take this. Good person. point, my brother. Good point. Good point. Hello, your name and where you call from. Let's hear you. Good morning, Nelson. Morning, let's hear you, sir. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to call my name because of security reason, but you can still contact me on this number if you don't mind. All right, I sent you your information on your personal number concerning Dabulo. She's already planning to leave the country anytime next week. So just have it at the back of your mind. I just have to share it on the radio as well. Hello. Thank you. People already know your Thank voice, you. man. People know your voice. Thank you. Thank so you the people in your boy and talk, but you do it. Uh, you know, don't, don't, Frida, don't, Frida, don't, you are yeah. off for the stabbing tonight. Frida, 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 no, 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 Frida, 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 I'm about to mute you. I'm about to mute you and put you backstage. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, let's hear, let's hear this caller. Hello, you're live. Yeah, Dima, where you come from? Hey, my name is William. Oh, William, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, yes, go ahead, sir. Yeah, that's in my uh, my point on this asset recovery is that I don't care what citizen will say, they're not going to teach anybody to how to do asset recovery. We let me just let Pasco know to know. But, but citizen was doing to... asset recovery thing before you. You think you gotta learn from the citizen because the people are doing the thing here before you came there. <laughs> they are work up, they are in a work up because they they are self, they are so greedy. That one make their own work. But right now, I must tell them what I tell you, say, co spoon, teaspoon, left to go to their horses from door to door and collect everything that belongs to government. So let them talk what they can talk, let them say what they can say. When we're ready for them, we're going to chase them from door to door. Thank you. Thank you I'm very much. About it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, from left to left, from door to door. I know that was something I can say. Uh, say those people will be chased. So we'll take uh just two more calls and then we uh wrap up tonight. You know, roof is on you. All. Yeah, that's that's Rudolph's. Uh... Oh. Uh, hello. Your life, your name, and where you call from. Okay, so, um. I think we'll come back to do our closing. Um, yeah. So let's start with uh, let's start with 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 Mikael on to do his closing. We got Mikael on. We say he doesn't have much time. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, this was a surprise, but thank you. <laughs> oh, you are surprised to be the first to go? Yeah. <laughs> come on. Is it, this is my first time ever. So, <laughs> 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 surprise for me. It's kind of big. <laughs> but thank you, I'm joking, my brother. But the, 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 thank you. It was a good show. Thank you for people who are making comments and in the radio land. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, all my friends that are on here tonight. Thank you. But the thing is, I always say, we are here to discuss the issues in Liberia, help Liberia to grow. We, ne we should never leave where we are. We should grow as a country. Liberia is too old. 177 years old. We are a, a, a country. I mean, we are too old to be discussing some of the things we're discussing today today. So, but for one fact is the assets we currently in Liberia, I don't think people want to survive, especially seditions. No God don't want that, that, that asset we currently to survive. And the assets we currently will bring a lot of good things to Liberia. It will put a lot of fear in people, even the next generation, to know that when you take Liberia people money or when you take the public money or anything that belongs to the public, there, there will be a time in your life that you're going to account for that. Whether you're 165 years old or you're dying, you account for it. So at least 
at some point people will start learning how to use public fund correctly and like i said we should not praise people too soon if the speaker do something i mean we can say yeah and there but to just keep giving them the flower the flower the flower is so early the government just started we haven't got six months yet those guys will come up that the few and the speaker were doing good but guess what they, they probably have a meeting with him see how he just start throwing things out there i didn't say you're not going to defend people but critical issue like the access recovery thing i don't think it's the time for him to step in and start saying what you're saying he doesn't know he, he's not supposed to know as a speaker where the lady whether she strike deal or did deal to get that thing she got let the people go after them let it provide the information that they have that they had those things as their property and they own them it's not for the government so we all can know from the public view so thank you what is that i said thank you yeah i'm done <laughs> that was good thank you but first thing you're not going anywhere you stay right yeah, here with guys, everybody. Um, i mean this was a good show and uh um, and I do maintain my 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 stand that whatever rationale the speaker put forward was not wrong in any way. Uh, but given his position and the circumstances around this issue, uh, I think the I think the context through which he spoke was wrong. Um, yeah, and you know, I mean, when someone is doing good, we should say it. And I mean, we will not not. I mean, that's why. So there is a saying that says. If you cannot praise somebody for their good, you stand in no you you have no moral standing to condemn them when they are doing wrong. So yes, we will praise him for his good, and when he does anything wrong, we will come on this show and we will condemn him. Um, you know, and just before I end, let me say this: we uh, guys, we I, I mean I know I touched on this earlier on, but let me just re reiterate: we have to be careful. We we should stop antagonizing Vasco be, before we create for our for ourselves another George. Vasco ha, has been tolerant. Let's continue to, I mean, let's let's not attack about? him. Let's 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 continue to if he is in error, let's speak to the issue and cor and correct him instead of attacking him before we create for ourselves another George. Thank you. I don't know what do you call attack. Go ahead, yeah. um Shirley. Oh, up there, right? Amy, you don't have to argue about this thing here. Oh. Let me go to talk. It's up not there. there. Amy, you know, you can't you can tell Ruda to stop, right? Because he was... He was don't want to let you somebody here. Tell somebody he was to stop. Don't want to attack anybody here. Go ahead. But I, um, I was backstage watching all of you. I think it was a great show for you all tonight. Uh, I just want to make sure see you all give her our time back but no i'm just kidding but um great show guys Why? um you're right don't be kidding we need our time we need to we need to protest yeah. i finished telling mm -hmm. nelson i told him i said we need to protest and get our our start time is at 8 p.m central time 7 p.m right. um eastern time so we need our time back, CEO, if you are watching us. This is the, um, Amy, what's my position again? Let me think. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this is the general secretary, okay? Well, and I'm speaking, <laughs> I'm speaking on behalf of our midnight team. We need our time back. I think that's the only reason why I came here tonight. And then I also want to make sure that um, y'all all try to vote for me next year because I want to make sure that I get 75% increase when I'm working in the government next year. So let's put that on the record. And I'm just here to what? talk about that. But oh, that's okay. it. Can you help us to understand what you just said, please? Go ahead, Pastor. 75% increase. You know, you say for the government. I mean, I'm in, in Minnesota, so let me just know what you're talking about. So I can. We want seventy five percent increase when you're working in Liberia, not here. Only Liberia. Seventy five percent increase. I get it, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm stopping you from talking. Oh no! Look, you, you, you can see your face tonight, Vasco. Let's go to your Go ahead, talk. We can see your face tonight. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. 
I mean, it was a great show, and for me, I'm a tolerant person. Nothing, yeah, nothing, boy. nothing that will make me to say or do anything. I know we come here to share ideas, and sometimes we'll go up and down, like we'll get doing it in the chat room. My man friend said, myself, we don't have open the back and forth. I, mean, I know. I mean, can, Thank I mean, you for, for saying on, on it, Baba. So, I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> that's the best thing. Well, please, let all talk. That's not you. And, you are redeeing your time by saying they all talking. Yeah, I <laughs> you know that, 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 that. That's the best thing for the show. <laughs> oh, so yeah, the you know, you know, we don't get started. Did they want energy? But it was a great show, gentlemen. So now, see, I want my closing. My, that's I, I you done talking. They were talking your time. You got 20 more seconds. Go Thank ahead. You. I want to know <laughs> who is Nelson. That the oh. guys, you know, let's see. <laughs> I want to know where Nelson that they got a call saying, Feel that boy want to travel. <laughs> Feel that boy want to travel. You want to come and get some information to Nelson. Nelson is so the guy. Send it to the air. Send it to the air. Send it to the air. Send So, Feel that boy want to travel. Feel that boy want to travel. You're on the show. You're pretty educated. Some of the callers on the show, too. You're telling that Feel that boy is a free woman to get travel. She, exactly. she committed she no yeah. crime, and I said the first, I think the second caller, that man struck a point. After the show, y'all go back to the, y'all go and re, y'all replay the show and listen. What a caller said, and that's the role of the asset recovery. What did he say? Any call that come from, come from that? government, any call that come from government will go through GSE. So then your asset recovery did a lot of mistake. Go to GSA, they got all the rules there. So the, the one that you are not found, that the one you go after. Thank that you, Joshua. Ra, you will go from now to just one day. There will be no way to go make it. Get in on that car. Nothing. Stay tuned, Vasco. Stay tuned. Nothing. Watch this show. With gracious Ryan and government. Go ahead, your mama. Thank you. <laughs> Vasco, Vasco, you know, Vasco, oh, my brother. Well, uh, what ain't any worry. I love this, you know, Vasco. What a job. All right, welcome back. Yeah, thank you, Mama. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I think we all on the same path when it comes to the access recovery team. But my concern, and I was, I will always stand on my, you know, on my ground like, Fina Bono, right? According to your the seditions, the weirdness, y'all said that she obtained this car, she bought a car, she went to the bank to get money because she had property, and the bank loaned her. According to y'all. We agree. The bank lose her money. She used the money to get those cars from Japan, if I'm mistaken, or China. Well, if she go to the court, right, and the court says, how you obtain this identical uh, or car or other stuff, then she just bring the documents say she get this money from the bank, so she amount, and then the people, and then the court said, George, they say, oh yeah, the, the more she get it in clear and she paying it, she take a loan. You know, like you take a loan, your company working and you paying, Everybody was like, okay, yeah, that's true. You're free to own a car. But as much, she can get no account for that identical car she get. We got to, we got to, the, 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 the asset recovery thing got to go <laughs> deep and deeper to know where she get those money to buy those cars. Because she are not working, she are not, even before she could come to power, she was setting, <laughs> according to our sources, she was setting Kobo. <laughs> so where she obtain, where she obtain all this money to get those cars? <laughs> so we come here, to say the library put in, I would say the railway okay? and I would come there with fat. No, Vasco's a little loud because you know I, I hate the Are name. Are you choking Vasco? You Fina all right? Bono was selling Kobo. I'm telling you, Fina Bono was selling Kobo until she can get the power. Now she get duplex, she get compounds. Where she required, where she get all the money from? That's the question. So when we come here, when people go and steal from the library people, then sedition come here to get the gods to come and sit and protect those people. Then they say they love Labura. What they love your girl for Labura? Somebody go and see heavily from the poor people. Children walking on in the rain to go to school. They don't even sit on chair. Somebody sit on black. But your, your, your government will feature who, who, who work in the past government. Go see their houses. Go and see their houses. Go see what they get. And compare to how many money they took from the bank to build the houses and to get the companies. Then when we come here, y'all will make it all of fun. I think it is sad. And seditions. They realize, some of them realize that yes, what we did in the past to vote for the government is wrong. Based on that, 
we are not putting them in power. Thank JNB, you. let me conclude by saying that JNB will in power today. If JNB uh, does something is not right, we come right on the platform here and say the truth. We will not come here and bright and blow. We are not there for JNB. I am there for JNB. You see, while I went in the library, see me taking pictures of any government official. I will get the opportunity to take pictures of more than thousands of people. Why are you taking pictures with bottles? <laughs> Why are you not talking about the fire now? The way all the people. Thank you, Why are you talking about the fire? No, nobody's listening. Listen. 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 By way, my man. The reason being, I never took pictures of a lot of. I don't want for people to say. Uh, oh. We won't know your reason, yo. No, but. I I not I not yeah, 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 you are the comment. I take I take a picture of battle. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My own sister, I can go out. Yeah, you know, the way you're going in the chair room. Hey, the 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 roof. Are you trying to take your position? You're baking. Please split your roof there. <laughs> go ahead. The way you're going in the pool house. Yeah, man. Well, uh, yeah. guys, it was a great show. I mean, unfortunately, we came on late, so we didn't get to do our opening. But my thing today was on the Yeke Kolba of the Senate, Erwin Snow. He had to go to come on Spoon Talk today. Hey, cool. When they're asking simple questions about his salary, that man have no shame in his game. But to talk about he will advocate to increase his bet on the When the 5% increase. Erin Snow, you ain't got no shame. You, your country is one of the poorest countries in the world. You bet, your country bet the U.S. every year for money. But you, Erin Snow, you make more money than a U.S. senator. And you're saying... You deserve more for the work that you do. What kind of work you doing that you deserve more? You already getting paid more than America, American senator that can pass budget to get you money. But then you say you're doing too much work, you need more money. What kind of shit for air drafting you get so? But like the people are bombing county, they will look at that tape. He will say, Hey, see how I'm fighting for you. They will say, I was there, the best way they will be suffering. Then the men will be getting triple income. But we can't just sit down there. Y'all will continue to suffer. And, all, and, and you know what? They get the same talking point. All they learn, they can go to the same seminar when they take office. Oh, I want people there. They can come to us. They beg us. They don't say, all they people to beg us. They say they might get paid $20,000 every month so that they can help that people there. What sense that make? If you just cut half of your pay, the people that make $150 a month, they will get paid every month. But they don't want to do it. They can still say you need more pay for the work that you do. Oh, I work for my money. I earn my money. What do you earn? What kind of love I say I got for a country? Your job will be stealing the money, but the average person can get paid. You get called by the Senate every snow. Now, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> tattoo, tattoo, big criminal. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, yeah, thank okay. you guys. Um, yeah, we came on late, so I guess we're leaving late or early. Um, speaker for Nani Kofar, you know, like we all say, I wasn't supporting him because I wanted UP to have a good path to their um agenda. You know, when you support a government and then you come back and they tell you, Oh, I couldn't do it because I didn't have this person, I was being blocked by this opposition, I've been something that is an excuse. So even in these United States, the people that practice supposed to practice the uh, uh, democracy more than us, right? They always fight to have the same. The party that won the White House to have the House and the Senate because of their agenda. There's nothing wrong with that. We wanted that for the for um, the president, but it didn't happen. Even though it did not happen, and we were going into it, it was a 50-50, and I said that. I rather for Najee Kofa if what's his name cannot win than anybody else, than Tama Fala or anybody else or Musa Bedi, whatever. I rather for Najee Kofa. I think he's gonna be more something than any one of them. And so far, I've been right. And there's no shame in my game. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, because we're not in, we're not in, we're not on half time yet. We still we just begin the game. Of course, we just begin. And he come in, he start messing up. I would talk about it the same way I was how I would talk about the man that I support for president. I'm not gonna wait till we almost at the end of the game before I started giving him his flower. No, I'm not gonna do that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't mean you're satisfied, you're so uh, 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 no, that's not what it is. It's just good to tell someone you're doing good to so encourage them, right? But then to continue doing good. 
Somebody can be doing good and you're bashing it. Oh, you're a bad person. You're a bad person. No, you don't do that. If they haven't shown you anything bad, is your best bet is to continue to appreciate them. What he did, there's nothing. He being concerned, he's a sedition. We all know it. But he being concerned about what's going on, he had to show his best to, I mean, give them some red meat, right? So be running on and chewing on. Oh, yeah, he's on our side. Because he's very, very leaning and very, uh, I mean, Liberian and not partisan so far for what's been going on in the, in the house. So I guess, like I said earlier, they call him to a meeting. So he had to act like, oh, he's showing something for some sentiment for Fina Bono and blah, 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 saying this. But I think he's going too far as acting like he's her attorney to be explained. The only thing you can say, I think, to that effect is to like, oh, I don't think they're doing the right thing. They should go by the procedure. They should do that. But not to say, oh, if somebody do that, they're going to get caught from somebody. You explaining this story. We haven't gotten the stories from this from this person yet. So, and you know, as a lawyer, it doesn't make any sense for you to come in and tell us this without the person having any documentation whatsoever to that effect. So, I think he needs to chill a little bit. You can support your people. You can do this, which is fair. It's fair game. Anybody will do that. We're not going to beat him up for it. But just be careful when you do it before it make you look so, you know, biased as a speaker or something. So other than that, yeah, I think we're, we're on track. On it, um, <laughs> like Vasco, no one, I don't think anybody, Vasco, no, he get beat up all the time. It's not a Personal attack is not Vasco better than Josh. We 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 don't know something. He, Vasco, Vasco is very very Josh. annoying. You will try to tell him he knows what's going on in the court, but he will come in and act like he never read a paper. He come in yeah, like we're taking from Mars and he's on Earth, it. and it's 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 really really something. But Josh is trying to go crazy, but it doesn't mean anybody attacking. Him. Stop, Vasco doesn't but feel that way. Was... I, I don't think anybody should put it in his ear and make it look like somebody's doing that to him. Nah, Rudolph best man. Why are you talking all in my closing? Rudolph, Rudolph, myself for the scene. I'm telling you, you're telling to show me some respect. Scene street. Let me tell you now for the scene street. I'm gonna use the new button for Emmy. Um, nice color. Rudolph said I'm trying to make up for the video club. You have to bite my sister out there. <laughs> no, no, but I want to be friends. Oh, 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 my God. Thank you, Thank you, Rudolph. Thank you, Rudolph. Model, we know, we know you really you missed the show, but like, my sister is talking, so all of you need to put some respect. La tatane again. We get close. <laughs> That's what make that's what make her Emily can bring the pit the document from the court that say Gresha Ram will go bring document for the cars. No, no, uh Vasco, the court is asking Leo, We are not asking Gracious oh, oh, Ram. Oh, 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 the document say Christian Rag will bring document for these cars because I keep saying the court is that is when we in the conference they went to and can you please put my baby's picture up? That is when we in the conference back to my last time I had birthday. Your king again. That's why it was our nephew birthday. We celebrating here all month. Gracious Rag vehicles. What are you saying? Vasco, Vasco, you finish closing now. What I said was, the court said they can proceed with what they were doing. Marie, you need to come in and tell him that. Because what they were doing in the law. So stop lying. Vasco, I'll come and put Marie on for you. You finish closing. It's okay. But guys, you're good now. I don't know if you're coming back. Okay, so guys, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. No, I, do I sound like I was sleeping? Nelson was taking yeah. a power nap, man. No, people. you know, I don't sound you like that. Eating. You are eating. Nelson That's was talking eating. to Yasa in a background. If, imagine, <laughs> imagine. Yasa, <laughs> if I saw him. They now they he's asleep. For one week. Nelson, now who is Yasa? His significant oh other. Please oh put my God. baby picture up. That is my best thing. Nelson, tell Yasa we say hi. Uh. We're sorry for keeping you up. Oh, mm -hmm. that play not go again, Shelly. 
à la mission. Et c'est un He just turned 10. These are, I started from his little. He's a so double DJ. Double DJ, yeah. Ooh, look at that handsome boy. Look at that thing. Yeah, you go, boy. Look at that soup. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, he is now. 10 year old. Happy birthday. I see. I mean, you have got yourself your, your a big boy. Happy birthday to him. Yes. I'm happy I, mean, happy birthday. I, say, hey, I love that picture. Keep that picture up a little bit, Nelson. Emmy, uh, Emmy, that's what on here, picture. But what Emmy, he got his hair out? Oh, Emmy. Like him. All right, guys. Hey. Emmy, how much did you pay for this? Because oh, no, no. I, I don't go, don't go yet. Why do you want me to tell you my budget? Why she got to well, tell you? Come, 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 reach this. Reach out. Get it back. I don't want pricing people. So, <laughs> reach out to yeah. so, ask me. <laughs> so um, we want to say happy. Uh, we want to say congratulations to our brother. Uh, Hi, friend. Lee Kuan Yew. Kuan Yew. <laughs> what happened to him? Lee Kuan Yew, Kona what? I beat him on the show. They're running away. Smooth, smooth. Who running away? <laughs> That's what he <laughs> said. <laughs> That, that, that same people that use on the driving man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, so, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Remo, Remo, come by, yeah. So you yeah, made Remo run away? Yeah, yeah, don't put your walk on a press on him. Remo, run me away. Oh, so let's, let's say, let's say so congratulations. <laughs> let's say congratulations to our. Look at you. Oh, 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 Congrats, Congrats. Yes, I'm I'm you you say you say yeah, no different. But he watched no, I was just yeah. watching the, I, I was just watching the Nancy, this week. Nancy, when you feel me put a silly picture and we walk your brush with a with a big joy here. <laughs> 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 they, 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 they I think Jack Jacqueline Roberts have a message for you, Nelson. She said you're not reading it. She said you can't get on the show. All right, guys, man. I, 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 got, I got money. Shit you see, you going up. again. Pasco said we're running away from you. Hey, go to bed. Are you there? Congratulations. Oh, man, I go out by my little man. Every day. Like my boy, I can't say nothing. I'm we're helping you to stay up. You need to, you, you need. We help that, you to stay that up. I'm not going to drop it. He laid that right now, but I still go later on day. Then he get out there. He's got the nice ship. Congratulations. Uh, well, Nelson, like what happened? Your internet is messing with you. You are the man working. Oh man, I got Gucci. I got Gucci. You want to see the city mayor working? You want to see the mayor working? Got dirty. Don't worry. Yeah, Pastor's not used to that. He used to somebody walking around with an arm like that. Yeah, only walking around with an arm like that. You want more of it? Instead of being be drinking tea, hot tea. Basco, yeah. Basco, 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 Basco,
Ah, I'm not just TV. You know, I'm not just I see now, I see you eating some of the right? I want you eating it. Hey, no, man. he actually going to come on. I saw it. Let's see. Where are you, y'all? We need you to come uh, on now. Let's do it. We got, got, we got, we got, got my trap. We got my trap in our studio. We got a little bit of 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 a little bit I got no yeah, me, and Mary, me and Mary and Tori uh, were tired last night. <laughs> so, so, guys, again, I want to say thanks to everyone for being on here. And um, we look forward to being here tomorrow. Um, I lost for a while. Mary, thank you for coming in very late. We appreciate you. <laughs> Mary, <laughs> we have a late come on. I we made to have on your Mary. That's all that matters. Yeah, Mary, do her closing. Do your well, closing, Mary. Closing? Close on what? Why she open on that? She coming <laughs> close on. <laughs> You want close on Vasco? Oh, do a Vasco. <laughs> Marie, Marie Ruth in the comment section, she said, Shirley, you came in late, but I'm I'm watching you from California. What's, what's that? Yeah, North, I North Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> I entered Ruth. Enter, yeah, I entered yeah, Ruth. Enter then she Ruth, said, you're trying to take me position. I'm watching from, from California. North Carolina. Yeah. North Carolina, she yeah. said, you're uh, trying to take any position, yeah. Shirley, but I'm watching you. Yeah, so again, uh, guys, we say thanks, man. Marie, anything you want to say? Just no, because you came. No, so I, honestly speaking, I was I was disturbed listening to Mr. Snow today mm -hmm. when when he uttered those words about wanting uh no pay and he they on a pay, pay he needs seven to five percent increase. increase his pay then. Uh, then you know, in, uh, decreases pay, but you know, then again, it, it, it's hard to say because the man got he, like he stayed on the platform. Oh, he patched in America, so uh, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and on the in Liberia, enjoying a good time, like right? yes. Well, so that's that's what you had to say, right? Uh, Mary. Mm -hmm. If I was on the platform from the beginning of the conversation tonight, I wasn't going to speak to his issue only because um, I feel like that's my way of um, saying he, he doesn't he doesn't inspire me to talk about him at all. As, as, it's not as, relevant. as someone that's part of the young generation coming up from from Liberia. Um, I was quite disappointed to listen to to him. Oh, I was too. Yeah. So, I um, mean, at first I thought he was. Then joking. again, Marie. Let then again, Marie. I wasn't too much. I didn't expect any, you know, thing better from him. But we watching care, him over the years, we care. Yeah, but, but care about him. We don't. Oh, care. we care. You're I left. Don't don't you. We don't care. You. Who talking to you? You who made we? You know now. I suppose no. At first, so I really thought he was joking, and then when he repeated it, I was just like, "Wait, this man joking, right?" He was unapologetic. Oh, so, oh yeah, yeah, about yeah. He was salary, salary he, increment. He didn't care. He, not he was so, like, it's his right, it's his right, 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 right. Talking about what kind of job he's doing so much that he owns a kid. Okay, guys, we will say thank you to everyone. Government is to serve. Vasco, thank you. Uh, um, 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 Mary, please don't go on last night. Police, you see, please leave our stuff like last night. Please, please, please. You understand? Vasco, thank you. Shirley, we say thank you. You understand? 